going on everybody welcome back to titch and geezer's results roundup uh and yeah um anybody that tunes in as always much appreciated um first question for geezer is look the birds uh look they know they're part of the stream isn't it because yeah they, <laughs> they was quiet before i and now they're like don't fucking forget us um <laughs> and then back still there the bats. I actually, actually, I'm the check for the last few days. I haven't been looking, you know, because you know, they come in just on the you know, sunset. Yeah. So uh, I haven't really been out to have a look. The other bar, let's check will, them out again. Will the weather affect them being there? And, you know, as it gets colder, well, will they go? Like I say, that there, there's a big. I know there's a big Connolly, a Connolly of them about half. Well, it's about twenty minutes away drive because uh, the golf course there, and I've played it, mate. And during the day. As you got, you know, playing the golf course, there's a million bats in all the trees in the golf course, right? right? That's, where they, that's where they hang out until they go off at night. I know that one's there. So where this colony is, I don't know, but they've never come to my tree before up until this time, you know, mm. these last few weeks. Whether they're still doing it every night, I'm not sure. I'll have to, I mean, you can say it could, the time of year, it could change. They might do different things. I don't know, I don't know much about them. Random, very random question, yeah. Are bats a delicacy in, you know, not in Australia, but anywhere that you know? Like, yeah, does anybody eat bats? Not that I know of, mate. Not any not type of that bat. Of. Well, I'm sure you wouldn't know in parts of Asia that they'll eat fucking anything, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's, there's amazing push for it. You know, the insects that they eat in, in Vietnam and uh, Thailand and all that. I mean, it's a big thing there. Yeah. Uh, the insects, the cockroaches, the, the, what do you call them? And jumpy things. There's a big. They do eat a lot of insects there, cricket yeah, type things. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a big thing there, and it's you know it's, n it's not looked down upon. It they reckon it's the future. You know, if you want to feed the world, get into insects, mate. There's plenty of them. Uh, but wherever the bats are, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I've never. Yeah, I'm not aware of you know any country like bats and. I know it wouldn't surprise me. It was I know when it. Corona, they was, you know, saying, oh, the Chinese, because they ate bats and that, which I just think is nonsense. But, yeah, I'm just, yeah, I don't know whether any country kind of, that is part of it. Yeah. yeah. And you've got to remember, horse used to be a big thing many, 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 many years ago. Horse used to be a big part of people's diet, especially in France. Yeah. They used to eat horse. I think in some parts of England, they used to be horse meat. And yeah. then it sort of got frowned upon, you know? Yeah. You know, People started loving horses, and oh, you can't yeah. do that. You yeah, know? but yeah, you know, most animals with a vegetarian diet usually have good meat. Most, mm. you know, that's why you wouldn't eat, you know, dogs. But I know the Koreans get into the dog a bit, but it's a meat eater, and uh, which apparently makes all the meat tougher and not very nice. Yeah. So who would know? It wouldn't be much on a bat though, as big as their wings are. That body of theirs is it's like a sparrow. Yeah. <laughs> not much of it. Might not be viable. Um, so, yeah, just going back to what you said about horses and that. I remember, I, I don't know how it came out. I don't know if it was on West Ham. I don't know what it was. But my theory or my thought process is, and it will never change, is because people look down upon, you know, the Chinese and that for what they eat. At the end of the day, meat is meat. You know, we, we've got, you know, for us... Uh, um, Cats are pets and dogs are pets and all of that, yeah. and therefore, but in other countries, it's not. And if you eat one meat, meat is meat. You understand? I know that, yeah, some of them are domesticated and all of that, but like you said, they we see horse in this country and now it's like frowned upon. Mm. So, yeah, I just think you know, meat is meat. And meat I, is I, meat. I watch, yeah, it is. I've watched some of these documentaries in like whether it's Thailand or Vietnam, and you know, like they go out into the fields, they catch these like rats. Clean them up, cook them. You know, like they're yeah. they're not they're not street rats. They're out in the fields and that. And then yeah, that's like a major major delicacy over there. And, and uh, I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure down down in some of the southern states of America, they, you know, they eat squirrels. Yeah, People yeah. I mean, it was just a, a source of food. I mean, you're not going to turn your nose up when you're hungry. Mm. It's amazing when 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 the Europeans turned up here in Australia. One of the things they nearly wiped out was the sea turtle. Mm. They uh, started capturing these sea turtles and tried the meat because the Aboriginals eat this sea turtle. So they tried it and they reckon it's the best meat they've ever eaten in their lives. They were shipping back to England, especially for royalty, 
and all the others. Yeah. All these turtles, you know, to be eaten in the high society of England. Yeah. They were all eating this turtle and they just reckon it's fabulous. Nearly wiped it out. See what I mean? So at the moment, the law is no one, they're protected now. And no one's allowed to go from bar the Aboriginals because yeah. that is part of their culture to uh, hunt day one. And eat them. Yeah. yeah, from day one. So they don't, for what they take, it's, it won't have any impact on it. But yeah. they're still allowed. Because, you know, the, the turtle shell as well as an ornament was mm. a big thing too, you know. You yeah. can't own one of them turtle shells now unless you're an Aboriginal. Yeah. There you go. Um, right. So let me just get to the comments. Right. Stuart, big up Stuart, the disabled team, Stuart and Lee. Uh, good hey, morning, Stuart. brothers. He says, Good morning, brothers. I hope you're well. So he's obviously a bit tired, even though it's morning for you. Good evening, brothers. Kieran and Titch. Hope you're both well. So maybe it's just for both of us. Uh, big up, Lawrence. Good evening from Lexington, and Kentucky, USA. Come on, your eyes. Uh, Lawrence. Listen, I would say this year, last week we only done like six games and Afterwards, once again, I thought, shit, we had FA Cup games and this. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, this week, just before, I haven't worked out the scores. We can do that on air. But this week, I've got 10 games. Some of them are international friendlies. We've got one. There's only one um, Women's Super League, which is the Manchester Derby. We've got... Um, what else is there? So, yeah, international friendlies. Let me just tell you the games, just so everybody... But we've got 10, um, because obviously there ain't really much going on. Let me just show you the... The 10 games. We've got Ivory Coast v Benin, which is friendly. Ireland v Belgium. Slovakia v Austria. Denmark. Yeah, oh, no. We'll do it at the end anyway. Uh, yeah, right. or, do you want, yeah. or do you want to write it down now? No, I thought I'd write down it as we go. Um, right. Denmark, Switzerland. England v Brazil. Uruguay v Basque Country. I didn't know that they had a, a football team, the Basque Country. Um, the Basque? Basque Country, yeah. So that's against Uruguay. What? Yeah. I knew that they was heading down that way, but I didn't know well, that. They surely had... not recognised as a country, the Basque region. Well, it's just what it says. Uruguay, the Basque country. And it's the first time I've seen their name uh, in a football fixture. So... Mate, they've, not, they've been fighting. The Basque have been fighting for independence for uh, 100 years. They're, I'm never going to get it. Right, the car, I'll just, maybe it's just, you know, one of them, you know, make it. I don't believe it's an actual official country. It could not be because that's the that's the Barcelona region. Yeah, yeah. The Basque, I mean, uh, there's uh, no Bill way. Bell. Is Bilbao Basque as well or no? I think they finish that as well. Could be. I uh, think they do. Um, but anyway, that's you know something for people anyway. to maybe uh, research. Yeah, because yeah, they're playing Uruguay in an international friendly. Uh, Croatia v Tunisia, France v Germany. So anyway, we've got Man City v Man United, which is the women's Super League. And then to cater to our American brothers, we have New York Red Bulls versus Lionel Messi and the Barcelona retirement home into Miami. So, yeah, those are the 10 games, but we'll get to that later. Um, back to the comments, brother Stu. Good evening, brother Lawrence. Big up, Inky. Evening, Stu, Titch, Lawrence, and Giza. Inky, hot bat wings, uh, Lawrence says, fire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sure no, I'm that. stick it on a Barbie. I'm sure he'd do that, wouldn't he? Uh, well, our friend, what we got here, Lawrence. I like the wish sandwiches. Wish I had some meat between that bread, Martin Lawrence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. I do remember that. If you've had a beef burger in Spain or Germany, you have had a bit of black beauty or sugar. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, well, but yeah. Um, sounds stupid. Oh, big up, Charlie Boy. <laughs> Titch and Kieran and chat. Big up, Charlie boy. Hope you're well. Charlie boy. Um, right. So, um, where do we start? You got anything you want to talk about? Any football related, whatever? You know, last week was only six games and then obviously we've got tennis. But yeah. Um, yeah. Where do you, yeah. Any any football yeah. news just from around the football world? We got, yeah. No, there's not. I suppose that we'll go through that game. That's all we can talk about there is uh, when we get the results. There's only England, which I've actually, I didn't even realise they were playing Brazil till the other day. <laughs> I did. Yeah. You know, that could be an interesting one. That could be a Paqueta versus Rice sort of situation there, couldn't it, in the midfield? Yeah. Possibly. That'd yeah. be interesting. Because um, um, if it, it happens. Back, it should be back now, isn't it? Because that, that ban thing is gone. It's been, yeah, that's no further well, action. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's he's there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's with the squad because I don't think that 
Yeah. Pretty sure he is, I guess. So, uh, what's, yeah. What's your thoughts, if any, on uh, Ben White's situation? Yeah, I was going to mention that as well. I don't yeah. know, man. He obviously had a fallout last time, wasn't it? One of the staff there. Yeah, they made a comment, apparently. Uh, so it's really hard to, ju to judge him. I, I can't understand it why you wouldn't want to play for your country. I mean, but is that a fallout? Um, maybe because they wouldn't uh, put a sunbed in the dressing room for him. Yeah, maybe Ben Brown, I call him. Ben Brown. <laughs> Definitely ain't why, is it? <laughs> but unless he says why, you know, it, it's difficult to speculate. He might have good reasons, you know. Uh, I don't think it's just, you know, someone suggested that, oh, if I'm not guaranteed to play it, I, you know, I'm not part of it. I, I don't believe any England player would ever say that. No England player is entitled to be picked in that first team. That is a manager's job and that's it. You should be honoured to be part of the squad. You know, nobody gets to pick. Maybe Ronaldo, <laughs> but in England, no. No one gets to say that. Mate, if I was a manager of England, someone one player said that to me, I just said, well, you can fuck off. I'll get someone in here who's going to listen to what I tell them. So I don't believe it's that. There's a fallout summer. I don't know. Like I say, to speculate is to speculate. But unless Ben White tells everybody why, gives us a good reason, I find it strange. But there you go. Um, so uh, something that I read earlier today, um, Leon Bailey at, at Jamaica, apparently he's... Did you hear about him? He's um, no, he's not in the squad, right? Let me try and find that because it doesn't surprise me. Um, with being Jamaican, obviously, like we're half Jamaican, but I'm saying he said something he was criticizing. They said that he went out and now they're sending home, but he's I think that's because he's already raised these issues with him. Now, let me just try. Oh, I don't know if, if it's still here. Let me one sec, let me read this to you. Um... And, you know, he's a quality player. So, but the, yeah, Jamaican sort of football federation, they're a bit like, yeah. Um, any news? Let me find this, everybody. Arsenal, Chelsea informed Aston Villa star would love to join him, blah, blah, blah. Explain why they consider training. One sec. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. Fuck sake. Um, all right, here we go. This one should do. This is a different one, I Except so, Leon Bailey blasts Jamaican Federation as he announces his break from national team. Leon Bailey has declared that he will take a break from the Jamaican national team over issues stemming from what he called a low level of professionalism. Now, this is unlike Ben White, you know, this Leon Bailey is represented Brazil, um, Jamaica, hmm. and you know, but he's actually speaking out. He said, ahead of the Reggae Boys Conquer Cup Nations, so blah 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 blah. Uh, a target of criticism from players on this national team over basic missteps in involving tra uh, equipment, travel arrangements, and more. Um, this is what Leon Bailey said. A lot of people don't know that most of the time I book my own flights to come and represent Jamaica because they are very unprofessional. You're getting your flight details at 11 p.m. to travel the next day. Uh, the Jamaican Football Federation doesn't pay us. I can't remember the last time I received the dollar from the national team. It's very unprofessional in ways you can't even imagine. Uh, mm. I mean, yeah, I could carry on, but yeah, basically, it was a scathing attack. But I know for a fact what he's saying will be true, so you yeah. know, yeah. So when you hear about you know, black people time, black people turn up late, and that he's saying they are booking the flight or letting them know the flight information <laughs> 11 p.m. and the flight's the next day, they're not getting paid, they're not. He said, he said, there's no security, so people can come up to them like willy nilly, and that there's no security or nothing. And obviously. Yeah. He's used to being in Germany. He's used to the Premier League. So he's seen how a footballer should travel. And then when you go back to Jamaica, that is it's completely opposite. So of course, you know, you're going back 50 years. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> say Jamaica, a third world country, but uh, financially it is. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and what do you expect that to say? They've got fucking no money there. There's no money in Jamaican football unless a, a government, you know, wants to give them billions. They're not. England is the opposite. It's fucking pampered bastards. They get everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even the chauffeur-driven car up to the hotel or the, the you know their base. It's just perfection. I mean that is fantasy stuff. All their kit laid out. All the little oh. things they get. The tracksuit. Ten different shirts. You know, what I mean? you know what? It's funny you said it. So you re you just refresh my memory. So when I read the article earlier, he said when they go away, they've got one shirt. Only, and there's been times where they've got female shirts. 
You know, because like, they're really? thick, isn't it? Yeah, that was in the early article that I saw earlier. Yeah, so. What is the, I mean, that's the reality of, you know, going to Jamaica, mate. I mean, I don't know what you'd expect much more. It sounds bad, but I'd say there's a lot of teams in Africa exactly the same like that. Yeah. They just don't have the money to, to compete in, you know, to pamper all these players. They just don't have it. It'd be embarrassing, I think. But uh, maybe that's why I don't think old Mickey's gone this time, has he? Antonio said, no, I'll bet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the reality might have kicked in when he went out there, you know. If this isn't working in England, mate. you got to remember, you are pampered fuckers in England. Really pampered. In your clubs and, and nationally. Fucking unreal, mate, what they get. I think it's too, they're too pampered for me. You know yeah. what I mean? But there you go. But, uh, big up, Robert. Um, single and evening people. Good evening, what? Robert. Uh, Good day, Robert. What, they've not got their own chefs out there in Jamaica then? <laughs> well, they probably have the food sorted. The food would be, be I think they'll be happy with the food, but that's about it. <laughs> um, yeah. Lawrence says, Southgate seems to make a mess of the squad. What's your thoughts? Oh, I mean, they're friendlies, Lawrence. I don't fucking take any notice. You know what I mean? I couldn't give a toss about the squad, to be honest. I don't. I'm just thinking about when it comes to the tournament football, I'm not sure he's the man that's going to get us the win because I believe that England squad is good enough to, to win it. Yeah. But I don't really have much faith in uh, Southgate doing it. But you never know this time. It might happen. Yeah. But we'll see. Um, right, Lawrence says Jamaica does give them all the red stripe they can drink. That's funny, <laughs> yeah. So they'll have all the nice food and some red stripe, yeah. That's it. And the thing is, I know personally that Mikel Antonio don't do nothing for nothing, so that'll be mm. his main reason for not representing. I know this personally, Remember, yeah. My too much. He's almost you know, my family classes him as family, I don't know him like that. But I've got from a good source that, yeah, he won't do nothing for no one unless there's something involved. So the fact that, yeah, this guy's traveling around to Jamaica and, and, and not getting paid, he weren't going to do that for very long. Um, what we got here? No wonder the shirts are so <laughs> expensive. Big up Lee Statham. Hello, everyone. How, how are you doing, Lee? Hope you're well. Good night, Lee. Uh, good shout, Giza. Agree. Lawrence, brother, Lee. Hi, Lee. TDT. Larry. Inky. Um, any more news, football news around no, the world? No, apart from that, what they try to fuck about with the, the St. George's Cross on the shirt, that what was just that? another What's controversy. The, what are they doing now? Oh, fuck. It's, uh, you know, the, the, the collar of the shirt, the back of the shirt, That's the actual St. George's Cross there, the English flag. Yeah. Oh, well, they decided to make that a bit coloured. Nike. Well, say Nike. I think it's the FA. And it's yeah. got all different colours on it, mate. What sort of colours? Not... One's pink. You've got a red stripe going down, but across it's like pink and purple. And... Fuck. And so it's... there's been an outcry of that. What the fuck are you doing messing with the English flag on the shirt? Mm. So I mean, that's all. I, I know what it's about. I think it's more virtue signaling. And it's bollocks. What is, virtue, what is virtual signaling? What is that? What does that mean? Uh, appeasing to the woke minority. Oh, yeah, I thought, I thought maybe that. To try yeah. to make it, in, they said it to make it playful and inclusive. Nike statement. What does that fucking mean? What is, yeah, you what you kind of... don't fuck with any nation's flag. It's as simple as that. Leave it alone yeah. and leave it alone. But, That's it. Hold but on. the FA agreed to that. They have to sign off on Nike's shirt, right? Yeah, but the FA signed off on that. So, so isn't that quite that? Isn't it highly yeah. disrespectful to to mess with any nations, right? Of course it is. So, and in theory, that's not really the English flag, then, is it? Because the English flag no. is red and white. It's not the yeah. So what, what are we it. wearing on our shirts? It's not the English flag. Do you, you, do you imagine doing that in America? No fucking chance. about with the stars and stripes on their shirt, they would you know, fuck them. There'd be a revolution, man. Lawrence would come out of retirement, he'd get his fucking fuck name in here. Like, I'm fucking yeah, fuck no, 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 bro. <laughs> get the guns out. Fuck Morning. this. Let's open carry. Let's open yeah. carry and storm fucking storm the 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 what the American Federation of Football, whatever they are, they're yeah. getting it. 
Yeah, there'll be no more football then. They'll be like, hey, fuck yeah, man. <laughs> Wally would get his fucking all these bloody mercenaries. Like, yeah, it'd be, it'd be carnage. No, nah. it's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing. But keep then, fucking doing it. I keep telling you, these fucking people in football should leave it alone, mate. I told you before, they've done it with Black Lives Matter in the Premier League, that fucking badge. Kick it out was fine. But nothing, that's all we needed. We didn't need to go to BLM route. And we've seen what's happened to them since. Now they're trying to, do, you know, subtly do it on the back of a fucking shirt as if no one's going to notice. And then charge £125 a shirt. No joke. That's what it is. No Which way. to me is a fucking disgrace. <laughs> there you right. go. So, I once again, I always, uh, I'll see an article, I don't read it. But I saw Harvey Elliott pay for the under-21s, and the article said, basically trying to say that he's he's not displaying the St. George's flag, which I presume was underneath the collar. So they're trying to make it out like he's doing wrong, when if they've placed it under the collar... You're gonna, oh, it's maybe, not under. It's, if you flip your collar up, you'd hide it. I think maybe you know, it's on the back. Maybe it's on the collar back. up then. Maybe yeah, he had exactly. up. Yeah, yeah, he did. So then, obviously, but they're yeah. trying to get at him, like, oh, but really, at the end of the day, if he's a patriot, he's thinking, I'm not. Where, this is not the Mate, flag. You understand? Whatever. If he's a real patriot, the Harry yeah. Kane being the captain, saying we're not wearing it, get the St exactly. George's cross back on it. If he really wanted to go there, yeah? they won't. But that's what you yeah. should be saying. Get the fucking oh. St George's cross back on there. Or we ain't wearing it. But oh. no, because these fucking idiots and Kane were happy to wear the fucking rainbow armband. Mm. Instead of standing up against that, but they wore it. Yeah. And Until maybe, they couldn't. Maybe that was um, Harvey Elliott's stance. Maybe you know he doesn't want to. Maybe. Follow. And maybe he was just a bit chilly, Gaza. He might have been yeah, a bit yeah. chilly. Uh, Robert <laughs> says, "Looks like the Chevrolet Logan." Logo, logo, logo yeah. Logo, yeah. Be easy logo. Uh, Lawrence says, "Easy geezer, don't mess with my flag." You wish. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, Lawrence. But some of these fucking idiots in power just might. Uh, Inky says, "Brainwashing." Of course. And Lawrence says, "I just threw my navy uniform on." <laughs> He's off. Yeah, mate. Got the call up. Got the call up. Um, <laughs> Right, so um, has anybody in the chat got anything like, yeah, to bring to look? Here he comes, he knew he's waiting here, like, yeah, don't you mess with the flag? Big up, Wally. Good afternoon from snowy Colorado, US. Colorado, what's he doing Colorado. there, Wally? What's he doing? He's gone fucking skiing. Has he gone skiing? Has he? What's he doing? He's around, isn't he? It's probably a business meeting, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, anybody in the chat before we get to last week's um thing, anybody got any? Football or any relatable things that we can just talk about. Um, obviously, we spoke about Leon Bailey. We spoke about um, Ben White. We spoke about Harvey Lett and and the so-called English flag on the back of the shirt and the price, one hundred and twenty-five mm. pounds. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll save, nice. I'll save up. I'll save up for that. I'll get, money, that. Like... I'll, I'll get that in two years' time, mate. <laughs> it's a joke, isn't it? Uh, That's a lot of money. Fuck That's... sake. 125 pounds for uh, look at the you know the material and it's you know it doesn't nothing. Um, no, oh, you can right get there. that money in for a tenner, right? Yeah, I know. If that, Absolutely. no, yeah, no, actually, no, if you, yeah, if it's if it's as as they are, then yeah, it would be about that with all the proper stitching and all of that. Yeah, 10 pounds max. Mm. What are you the highlight? Uh, hey, Robert, salute to you, Lawrence, US, US, Rice Henderson. <laughs> um, is, is Henderson in the, he is in the squad, isn't he? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I know it's a friendly and all that, but still, this is where you should try and maybe try out some new, um, or yeah, people that potentially you know, like Kobe Mino and all of them, maybe just try them out instead of Henderson just to see how they do. Yeah, it. I've not even seen what squads the, even there goes. Like, yeah, I've sort of lost interest in England, like, especially yeah. friendlies. I don't have any. I, if I watch that friendly, I'd only be interested to see if I were Lucas Packard's playing. That'd yeah. be the only interest that I have. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I'm not interested in no, no, normally friendlies, qualifiers, unless there's something. Yeah. Uh, Brother Lawrence is on the phone to the Navy and Brother Wally's on the phone to the US Mafia as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> there won't be no uh, changing of that yeah, flag. Right. Rocky Mountain High, says Wally. Mm. Colorado. Stu, uh, 
Stu. How are you, my friend? Inca yeah, says, is that... uh, I've got no right. Inca says, I have no problem with anyone's sexuality, but keep your hands off my flat. Yeah, you know, listen, we've had this conversation before when we were speaking about, and now more yeah. people are speaking about the, you know, the transgenders taking over the women's sports. Um, we, we've had this discussion, and, and you know, me also, I've got no issue with anybody's sexuality. You are, you are, you understand, be who you are. But when it comes to agendas and people promoting and all of that, no, mm. you don't need all that, you know, like... If, if, yeah, what will be will be. We don't need to be forcing stuff or anything down people's throats. Uh, yeah. No. no. Exactly. Everybody is each to their own. Um, but yeah, there's a movement, obviously, and that movement is just getting ridiculous. Two West Ham underplayings for the England team that beat Germany on penalties. Beat the Germany. All right. Uh, are you going to tell me well? So when was that match, Robert? Was England it? under 18s, and was it a qualifier? Did it mean like? Did it mean? It, a... it must have been. Game. It must have been. If it's on penalty, sorry. What was that? Uh, what do you say? Where's Where's Wally? What do you say, Kiza? Just thinking about Wally. Is he doing a bit of broke back mountain? Is he in Colorado? Is that? <laughs> and that's all, all, all I've seen is that in regards to the. That. I reckon he broke back mountain. Did you see that film, guys? <laughs> nah, I've heard of it. Is it a good film? <laughs> I've heard um, of it, yeah. I'm not really a film. Is it a good film? It's not bad, mate. It's about two cowboys get a bit too friendly for each other. Oh, what's that way it is? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, broke my mind. I've heard that film, but yeah. Oh, listen. <laughs> this is for you, Giza, and, and anybody interested. I'm not a film person, but... It popped up on Summit and I said, oh, yeah, they recommended it. There's a film on Netflix <coughs> and it's got really? Daniel Daniel Fairbrass. I think he used to be in EastEnders. Good actor. Um, it's a good film. I don't want to spoil, you know, any spoil. It's a good film. Uh, and he he plays his role proper. And the thing is, when he gets released from prison at the start of the film, it's actually near my house at Wands of Prison. So they actually use Wands of Prison as him coming well, out yeah. show and that. So... But yeah, it's a good film. Um, oh. I won't spoil it, but I think you'll you'll like it. And I think mm. yeah, anybody will watch it. I think will like it actually because of the storyline and all of that. But yeah, I think you'll like it. I think you'll definitely like it. So yeah, it's called Villain. Um, what have we got here? Archie Gray scored a blinder for England and Tony on today too. So oh, Billy, really? that's your boy, isn't it? Oh, uh, <laughs> right, right, laugh. Yeah, see, I, I've heard the film. I didn't. I didn't know what it was about. Yeah, you know what it's about, Lawrence. Do you? you know what Wally's up to. Who's in that, right, who stars in that film? Oh, forget famous big actor in it. Uh, I forget his name, but right, Wally. Can you, Wally, will tell you. Right? Can you can you repeat that? Uh, you said uh, a big actor. What do you mean by that? Well, well known actor. Oh, <laughs> not oh, not big oh, in that okay. sense. Oh, oh, yeah, all yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've oh, heard in yeah. Buffalo Giza says that. <laughs> oh yeah. But what he really means is he's a. Uh, is that he's that's a euphemism for something, yeah. isn't it? He's messing with the balls. That's what he means. <laughs> oh, uh, he said, "Broke my <laughs> back skin." He broke his back skin. Oh, Was shit. that years ago, Wally? Or fuck me, I'm never. You know, I've something I've never done the old skiing, but yeah, you know, everyone I've known that has done it have really loved it, really enjoyed it. Mm. But it's, yeah, there we go. Uh, Giza says, I'm um, sorry, Inky says, Giza, you are mint. He's laughing, <laughs> laughing. and Wally says, that Heath Ledger was Heath Ledger in Robert Martin, yeah, yeah, that's that, yeah, that's him. Yeah, I told you, Wally, had known. <laughs> yeah, well, he knows all about Brokeback Mountain, doesn't he? <laughs> He's watched that film a few times. Still like that. Um, anyway. Right, so one of our players was Oxford and a keeper that you don't know his name. That was the two West End players. And if it went to penalties against Germany, that must be some sort of qualification or tournament, maybe. I don't know. What was must the... be, yeah. Well, it must be some kind of tournament. Yeah. There's only one big, and that's me, says Stuart. He died, yeah. Because he, Heath Ledger played the Joker, didn't he? Is that the same guy in the Batman? Oh, no. 
Was that not Heath Ledger? Remember the guy? Who played... He died, didn't he? Yeah, he died, didn't he? That was Suddenly. Heath Ledger, wasn't it? Who played the... the... Was that? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so it was. Is he the same? And he was also in. I, I think it, it just rings a bell, he Ledger. It might not be for a broke back, but if Wally says it is, it must be. Mate. Is um, Wally knew the name of the actor, but had no idea who boys to remember. <laughs> Thank you, Lawrence. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's paying more attention to these right. these funny broke back films than. Boy. Uh, <laughs> Everything about that film has become it from boys to men. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wally, you should know all about that. Just <laughs> chin. Skiing all week, but I'm fine. I thought you meant, yeah, I thought you said he broke his back like years yeah. ago. He probably fell over then. Um, yeah, well, you meant to fall over. That's all part of the fun. <laughs> Lawrence met a few real cowboys here in Colorado. Um, mm. Have what? Yes, it's a beautiful. Oh. What I've seen in Colorado, it's landscape wise, it's fucking stunning. It's beautiful. It really is. <laughs> Right, so Robert's watched it. Um, yeah, so yeah, Craig Fairbrass. Robert, what uh, did you think of the film? Um, villain. Is that a new? Is it just out then? Mm. Yeah, it's fairly new. Yeah, because I just saw it pop up on. I think I was on Facebook. I don't. But yeah, and then somebody it come up as an advert and to saying people like, yeah. really like it. Just it's hard for me to get it here then, would it? It's not on Netflix, is it? So. Yeah, Netflix. That's what I watched it on. It is. Oh, yeah, maybe yeah. it's here. We don't always yeah. get what you get, but oh. Not always, but some we might do. I'll have a look. But yeah, Robert, what did you think of the film? Um, I'm not. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it. It's, but it was. Yeah, I just, I just wish it would have ended different. Anyway, um, hi gang. It was Ledger and that Jake guy. So big up, Malk. Sorry. Um, it was Ledger and that Jake guy. So you're talking about the other person? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Jake who? Uh, is it a good film or is it just like I can't remember it, mate. I did watch it right through gritted teeth, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't watch right. it again. You know, I think it was a it was acclaimed as a good film. You know what I mean? As a good film, yeah, because I've heard it. It wasn't smutty I, that way, yeah. but it was. Yeah, I think it was a good film. Do you know what's funny? Yeah, years ago, um, Dave Chappelle spoke out about you know the elites and trying to get you know it's it's. A lot of people believe that they like to Hollywood likes to get black men in dresses, you know, like to yeah. demasculate them, right? So he sat yeah. down with Oprah Winfrey, who people believe is part of the elites, and she looked very uncomfortable when he was saying, like, you know, he was in a film with Martin Lawrence, and you know, the the, the directors come up to him in his trailer, like, oh, you know, like we've got this, yeah. suit and blah, 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 so and you wear a dress, and he was like, and then he referenced Brokeback Mountain, he said, like. Like you know, and where they were putting pressure on, he said, "You know what is this? this is Brokeback Mountain?" And I never got that because I didn't know what Brokeback Mountain <laughs> was all about. Yeah, so yeah. it's an it's basically a love story, but with two geezers who are cowboys, which is not what you expect of. You know, you're all all male cowboy type bloke, is it? But all American. Yeah. Um, yeah. So can I just ask when? I uh, uh, big up Jess, by the way. Uh, thanks for hey, tuning Jess. in. So when they are. Getting down and dirty, these two guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Ask Wally. I can't remember it. But... When, uh, when one of them, <laughs> when they arrive, do they say, yeah, cowboy? Like, let me know, Wally. I know you, you watched the film 100 times. <laughs> uh, Jack Glenwall. Jack off. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I've never heard of him, by the way. Keith Ledger and Jack Jack Glennonhall. You heard of him? Jack Glennonhall. Yeah, that's oh, him. Oh, Jake Jake. Oh. Uh, Jake Glennonhall. Aston Gator. Wally said, two very cute boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it was unusual, wasn't it, to use budget. that the subject matter in a cowboy uh, situation. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So Robert's talking about villain. Low budget, but okay. Uh, yeah, I like I liked it. I liked the storyline to it. Um, Wally, he just that's it. Rob can never spell his name, but great actor. Uh, I would have thought it was Radham Cowboy. Yeah, a that guy, no, Mike. <laughs> a lot of grunting by the two cowboys in there, <laughs> right? Uh, moving yeah. on swiftly, <laughs> saddle up, Mike. Saddle up. Here we go. Saddle up. 
Uh, <laughs> right, let's just get straight back to last week. I think we've done like six games, isn't it? Um, yeah, right. Just a new Roadhouse film with Jake Gyllenhaal. If you remember the old one, right here we go. Just watched the new Roadhouse film with Jake G- G- Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal. If you remember the old one with Kirk Russell, Roadhouse. I ooh, that rings a bell. The name, but two sets, mate. Right, Julia, I'm going to get back to last week's um, predictions. And like I said, we've got, we've got ten this week. They are quite, you know, random, international friendly. Oh. One female, what's it called? Women's Premier League, which is the Manchester Derby. And we've got a MLS game, which is New York Red Bulls v Inter Miami. But we'll get to that in a minute. Let me just get up last week's stuff. Was it Luton v Forest last week? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, all right. Well, let me just say this as well, you lot. Yeah, and I know Giza would be thinking the exact same thing when we got on to last week. We got on to uh, we got on to Ipswich at home to Sheffield Wednesday, and you lot was all like, Oh, it's oh. yeah, and I'm like, it finished fucking six nil. So, I know what the hell was you lot trying to do there. Was that just hoping that Ipswich was going to be shit? Like, yeah. Because I remember, yeah, because no one's going to get that score. So no. I remember, I straight away I put 3 0 yeah. on the bit of paper, right? And then everyone started coming back, giving Sheffield Chef, Wednesday all this credit. And, it, you know, all these, I don't win what? So I changed it to 3 1. <laughs> yeah. Right? So I'm, they must, because they're in the championship, they must know something I don't. So I put fucking one down. Well, I'll give them a bet, give them one goal. Which yeah. I never change it once I've written, but they convinced me so much. Not here now. Is it yeah. complete opposite? It was a complete opposite, mate. They had the pants pulled down. Can't trust these though. Yeah. Uh, uh, hope you're all well. Hope you're well, Jess. Outback geezers is wait. Outback geezers is the Australian remakes. <laughs> yeah, mate. Play that going on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone watched the Gentleman series? I enjoyed it. No, not yet. I put it on my. Um, I think I did. Ever. Have you seen already? I think I have. I've seen the adverts and it looks good. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit of a, a Guy Ritchie thing, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was all right. I think it was okay. Um, Mount says it was Patrick Swayze. Don't know how to spell that either, Rob. Uh, yeah, I think he's Zed. I think he's got a Z in his Swayze, isn't it? Yeah, Z um, instead of the Y. Right, a bouncer or cooler of a rough club. Uh, see, I don't get what have I missed? Did you get that? A bouncer yeah. or cooler of a rough club. What's that reference to? Uh, oh, gentlemen, is that what is that? What, anyone watched the gentleman series? I enjoyed it. Is that uh, gentleman? I, watched, I, can't, I can't remember it. I watched it and I forgot what it was about. Maybe it refers to a bouncer or a caller of a rough club. Yeah, it was, it's a little bit out there with the storylines are a little bit... Uh, got to use your imagination, I suppose. Right, so what was um, was last week? Because I haven't worked out the scores. Was last week the first game Luton v Forest? Yeah. Okay, so I don't know... Anyway, yeah. So I right. think- I haven't no. gone back and looked at the highlights. I've, I've seen, I have seen them, but I've got to be rem, you know, reminded of what happened. Uh, so, well, the, score? the game finished one all. Um, I know that once again, Luton scored very late. Um, That's right. I did. Let me just get any, and yeah, I don't have to refresh your memory. Let me just go back to bloody hell. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Um, hmm. Results. Where is it? Here we go. So. Um, Chris Wood scored in the 34th minute. Yeah, good goal. In the 42nd, um, Luton had a goal disallowed for handball, uh, just like another team. And um, Luke Berry, I think, in the 89th minute, equalised for Luton, which which uh, when you add Nottingham Forest's points deduction, that now... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I haven't even looked at this. That now means that Luton are one point above Nottingham Forest, and Nottingham Forest 
are in the relegation zone, which happened after their draw. But obviously, the draw was important for Luton because without that point, Forest would have got three points and would still be yeah. above them. So they that draw was massive. It's like a win for them, considering everything else. So, yeah, did you watch the game or? Yeah, yeah I watched all that bit, mate. Yeah, same again. They they done it against Palace, didn't they? Luton nick the goal right at them, and yeah. this was the same, mate. It was a cracking ball in. I think it was from Townsend. Right at the end, and the boy got his head on it. It's put his first goal in about fucking six years. But uh, they keep going, Luton, mate. They keep battling to the end. And, uh, yeah, they got a point. And uh, it was important, yeah, as it was against Palace. Uh, yeah, very important points. It's like a five-point swing, isn't it, you know, with their points deductions. Yeah. It made a, big, made a big difference for them. So they're still hanging in, Luton. You know, they've still got a chance. And I think if... Uh, you know, if you'd said to Luton, you still have a chance come March to stay up, you know, at the beginning of the season, after the first half dozen games, they would have bit your handle. Yeah. So, and that, like I said, they've always been waiting for this forest thing to come. Uh, they've been praying for it. Yeah. Uh, and it came, and it like four points doesn't seem so bad after a... It's a bit strange, eh, hey, w- when you look at his points deduction, how the fuck they work it out. Now, I know for a fact that Luton were... 35 million. Now, Forest were 35 million overspent, right? Yeah. When it came to the accounts going in. Everton were 19 and a half million overspent. Mm. Yeah, Everton got 10, then six. Yeah. And Luton only got four. Forest got four, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, I keep saying Luton. Forest yeah. only got four points deducted. So I don't know how you work them points deductions out. Or what the criteria is, but and but they're okay. appe- and they're maybe going to appeal that. Would you not just say, you know what? Let's, yeah. No, I think you take that case. I ain't getting any lower than that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, it, uh, by all accounts, they are going to appeal it. But they've only got seven days, so I don't know what's happening with yeah. that. But um, um, and it wasn't. Andrew Townsend got the the assist in the last game. Yeah. I've just checked here. It was right. actually a West Ham old boy. It was Reese Burke. You remember Reese Burke? Yeah, I was watching him, Reese Burke. I kept saying to Kieran, like, that's an old West Ham boy, Reese Burke. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he got the assist for this guy. I didn't know he was at Luton. Um, yeah. He did actually. What, what for, uh, for, for Luton? Yeah, he got their assist. But, so that Luke Berry scored. You're talking about the week before when Townsend assisted um, Coley Woodrow. Okay. Woodrow. And then yeah, this yeah. last one against them was uh, Luke Berry scored and Reese Burke assisted him in the 89th minute. I can't mind me mixing the goals up, maybe, yeah. Maybe I'm mixing it up. Then. Yeah, because... Um, I can't remember the goal now. Yeah, that was... No, um, I... Last week was Townsend for Cooley. Yeah, okay, yeah, I must be mixing it up then. So, but yeah. Um, anyway, they got it. So, yeah. Luton's like... I'm trying to, I'm trying to compare them to like metaphorically you know like you know like them fucking a, you know like a, a, a drunk fight but you're outnumbered there's like four of them mm. it's just you and you're skinny but you're somehow just swinging at you understand they're like that they're just fighting, yeah, yeah. Aren't they? they're, they're like we ain't getting nowhere like fuck you though. like we're not getting nowhere <laughs> yeah or catching think, someone with a sucker punch up yeah. you get you're getting your head smashed the bits and you crack them one. Hey, fucking you do. It seems a bit like that, yeah. If they, but yeah, if they, they're showing great fight, Luton. You know what I mean? And they've been unlucky in other games as well. Against Villa at Forest. Uh, no, what was the other one? They, they've been unlucky, man. They've been, uh, they've done well. Yeah. And uh, like I say, they're still there. And it's not to say, it's only by help from uh, points deductions, but there you go. You could you never know. I mean, to, to me, for, um, Forest this did again like Everton. This is the best season to get this deduction. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've got to look at it that way. Last year, I think both of them would bloody get relegated. You know? But uh, this year, they've still got a chance to stay up. So, yeah. Well, you know, we was all questioning Forest spending, which was just ridiculous for a newly promoted team. Uh, and it makes it more interesting down the bottom uh, as to. Absolutely. Who joined Sheffield United and Burnley? Right, Lawrence mm. says, smash the like button, 
like those cowboys in the mountains. Yeah, <laughs> uh, Forrest got a four point reduction sin. Right, don't try explaining to this pair, Rob. They are in cuckoo land. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Robert says, and yeah, have I was just about to mention that, Robert. Leicester are getting done now, they've been charged by the champ, the championship or Premier League by the championship, right? Ooh. But it's not going to happen to the end of the season. And what's what are they facing? What's the what's the charges? Uh, we're spending again, I think. Now, I saw a thing on Talk Sport about it, and they said, "Well, how does it work if they get promoted?" You know, you can't take points because there's such a, a different entity, the Championship mm. and the Premier League. You yeah. can't go in the Premier League and then be ducted. Yeah, you know, Premier League deduct points off you. Yeah? No yeah. So everyone's sort of going, "Oh my God, this could open up a can of worms, a real can of worms." What do you do? You'd have to. It's not going to get done to the end of the season. So, what you retrospectively, you know, take them out of, give them a points deduction, then they're not promoted, or if they get you know, promoted. Do you know what the funny thing is? And is that Leicester was miles clear of everybody, and if if they knew in the background this was happening, they might have thought, "Look, we get eight points." We, but now everybody's bridged that gap, so. Yeah, you understand? It's going to be detrimental now. The points, and maybe I don't know. I didn't even know they was charged, but they might have been prepared for this. But realize that we're fourteen points clear, sixteen points clear. They can give us eight points. We're still going up. Now that's changed because Leeds, Ipswich. I'm not sure. Because but... the geezer on talk sport was saying like, right, if they do get found guilty at the end of the season, and but they're promoted and they can't take points off in the, what? What are the other clubs around them that didn't get promoted? What are they going to do? They're going to start yeah. going after Leicester. Of course they you know, Taking them to court because they got promoted and even though they broke the rules. Yeah, it's just opened up a massive can of worms. Nobody knows where it's headed from what I've seen. So. <laughs> this will be interesting. Robert says, it's been rumoured that Everton might get more points deduction. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, the under ratings were playing in the Pinatar Super Cup, a mini tournament. Ah, oh, okay. That's England okay. under 18s. Uh, I haven't heard, I've heard it's going to be four points, Robert. I don't know how true it is. So apparently, maybe another four points for Everton, which then takes it back to the original 10. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky, brilliant. Uh, it's dog, dog in it. Now, Forrest are just hoping uh, Everton gets some points deducted. Leeds and Ipswich want Leicester to lose points. Um, Right, so you're good. I think I need you to keep score because obviously I didn't do it. So this week, right, there was in that game there was three cards, fourteen corners, and it finished one all. So if you go through the the scores, um, yeah, it finished one all. Ooh, well done, boys. Right, I went two all. I did go for yeah. the draw. You went three one Luton, go that. Rob went two all. Shu went two one to Luton. Inky went two one to Luton. Milk, you fucking beauty. Get in, milk. One yeah. one said milk. That's oh, a fucking. Oh, broke back. Broke back. Got one more. more. Broke back oh, system. <laughs> <laughs> broke back said one one. Danny said two one to Luton, and uh, Lawrence said two all as well. So, so Mister System broke back. Um, got ten points. Mm. And Mount got 10 out. Now, let me just check if anybody got the cards or corners. So, 3 14. Nope. 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 Three. Stuart correctly got three cards. So, he gets 10 points. Well done, Stu. Well, Stu. And that's all it. Right. They, and no, yeah, no more points for that game. So, that's all the points for that game. Right. Uh, Molly, Mount, and Stu. Yeah. Tennis. So, no. No. Mount, Stu, and Brokeback. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Right. So the next game was Burnley v Brentford. Yeah. Yeah. Which finished Burnley two, Brentford one. Uh, yeah. Did you watch any of that game? Can't remember it. <laughs> I, <did. laughs> uh, I think Burnley. I, should... I think there was a, a red card. I think for um. Let me just. Yeah, there was a red card for Bournemouth. Um. Let me go back through this. So. Bournemouth got regular on sent off on eight Hang on, minutes. Burnley. Burnley. 
Yeah, Burn. Did I say Bournemouth? Yeah. Sorry, Burnley two, Brentford one. Um, did you watch any of that? I did. Uh, Burnley, Brentford. Yeah, I can't remember it then. So Regulon got sent off on eight minutes. I think uh, as a result of that, I think they got a penalty, which Bruno Larson scored. Then Fafana, who scored a scream against West Ham previously, he scored 2 0. And then Ajer made it 2 1 in the 83rd minute. Um, yeah. Yeah. A win for Burnley. Well done. Got my Brentford are crap, mate. They really are poor. Yeah, they're getting worse, Brentford. Yep. Really um, poor. And it was, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think the boys through, yeah, it was a sending off, from, I remember. Took him out of the game. He took him out of the game. That was it. So, yeah. I think it was fair to send off. So, yeah. No, no, Burnley. Got points. Point against uh, us. Three against yeah. Brentford. So, um, Nottingham Forest getting deducted means that Burnley are now only five points from safety. I mean, yeah. Could happen. It it makes it interesting down there. Now, if Sheffield United were to win their game in hand, they would also be on the same point. So they would only be, and you know, Brentford are on twenty six, Forest are on twenty one. So that that result is just really dragging Brentford back into the mud, isn't it? So they're, they're yeah, but, now fully part of this relegation. They've got to shape up, mate. Yeah, they've got to put a few points on the board. They know that. Uh, but yeah, I still find it hard to see Burnley getting out of it. But you, you never know in this game, mate. You know, it's amazing what a couple of wins could do for you. Um, if, 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 if Everton were deducted another four points, they would have 21. They would go beneath Luton and be level on points with Forest, which would really make it interesting. So, uh, fingers crossed, everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, Robert says, the West Ham keeper was Finlay Herrick for the under-18s, mm -hmm. who must have done something in the penalty shootout as well. Broke back system. <laughs> <laughs> that's his that's his name, broke back system. Malk and Cowboy says uh Lawrence. Uh Malk. Yeah, well done, you lot for getting a score though. If that's it for points, this is this well I've done well. Uh yeah, I'm not let me know how many I get Stu. Um <laughs> Jess, you have minus ten says uh ha ha. <laughs> Why? So don't forget you lot, we've got ten games at the end of this one. Right, so um let's just get into this Burnley. Brentford two one right. So what did we uh, what did we pick score wise for this? Gee, I went three nil Brentford. Yeah. You went two one Brentford. Rob went two nil Brentford. Three one said Stu to Brentford. Two one Anky to Brentford. Three one said Mel to Brentford. Wally went one one. As he okay, I'll go back to Wally. I can't keep calling him broke back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, unlucky Danny nil two. To Brentford, oh no, yeah, wait. And no one said 3 0 to Brentford, so yeah, no one gave Burnley a hope, really. But there you go. Um, right, so this game had a lot of cards, it had seven cards, uh, nine corners. Now, um, broke back system correctly predicted nine corners, so he gets oh, another dear. 10 pints. He's on again. <laughs> You know what I just said? I said he gets another 10 pints before he goes up. Bro. I meant points, but I said, yeah. Um, hmm. Right, 7-9. Let me see here. Seven. Oh, Malk also correctly predicted nine corners. Yeah. So him and Brokeback have had the same points on the last yeah. three games. 7-9, um, 7-9. And that's it. Nobody else scored. Um, no, sorry. Sorry. Danny uh, correctly predicted seven cards. So Danny actually got the cards right on that as well. Yeah, that's a big number, though. No? Yeah. So, well done, everybody. Uh, me and Giza thought this week we'd just give you lot a little chance because yeah. it doesn't look right, does Second it? We're just, we're just winning as the hosts and that. Um, I'm not giving me a Red Bull. Oh, we've got a Red Bull on tap. Boom, boom. Mr. Brokeback System. Malk's, Malk's uh, keeping up with him, though. Maybe those two are the two broke back guys. They're keeping up with each other. Um, mm. Right. So, <laughs> right. The next game was a London derby, and it was a surprising result for some. It was Fulham free, Tottenham Hotspur nil. Now I know you watched this mm. game. What do you think about this game? Yeah, mate. They they were poor, mate. Tottenham. 
Mm. They really were poor. Son was fucking shy. Uh, Kulisescu was bad. They definitely missed Van der Ven at the back. Yep. You know what I mean? With the, the other boy, not the same team without him, mate. The, you know, the, I mean, I remember the first goal it was a good goal, but Van der Ven catches him up and stops him shooting. You know, where this mm. guy was a yard away. That's all it yeah. was. Yeah. But it made the difference. Uh, yeah, Fulham deserved it. Mike played well. Uh, but Tottenham had a bad day. Really a poor day at the office, mate. So, yeah, that was it, really. Not much else to say about it. It weren't good. Obviously, they played before us. So they knew a win would take them above Villa and put the pressure on them. Um, mm. Does that does it change your opinion of who finishes higher out of Spurs and Villa or nah, not of that one game? Well, I think they're both the same. I think they've both got losses in them. You know? Yeah. Yeah, both have. You know, you can see them losing games they shouldn't lose. Uh, and Villa should have lost against us, but they didn't. Yeah. But yeah, I say I can see the losses in these two teams. So I think it's whoever loses loses less gets yeah. the full spot, probably. You know, and and don't write off Man United. I nah. keep saying about them. Don't write them off because they're the sort of team that even when not looking good, put points on the board. Mm. So I wouldn't write off Man United being part of that yet. Would you? I know. Yeah. Was you surprised that it was so convincing, three 0 I would have been if I'd just heard the result afterwards. Oh, definitely. But uh, when I watched it, no, it yeah, was a fair result. You know, watching yeah. it, you know, that was a fair. They weren't on it at all, uh, Tottenham. And uh, you know, even Richarlison come out. He, he was. Uh, they, Madison weren't really having his real creative game either. Uh, I think they took him off near the end. And uh, yeah, but Son was just shit. Kulisevsky was poor, and they they looked poor at the back too. Yeah, they didn't deserve anything from it. Right, so there you go. Well, but I do know, think Son was a massive loss. He, yeah, he, he's always going to be. I've, you know, I've said it many times, and it's the fact that you're going to have off days in football. Everybody will. So uh, you just see how you would. Them. You know. You know, you wouldn't think a centre half makes that much of a difference to a team, but it does. And and uh, Van Dijk has proved that with Liverpool over the years. Once yeah. they brought him in, a massive difference, you know, mm. and their goalkeeper. So, and I think Van der Ven is becoming that because of the high line they play, Tottenham. Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's crucial to the way they play. Yeah. He really is. So, you know, when he's not there, this other boy's a good centre half. This Dragerson. But he hasn't got the pace, the speed for that high line. He just mm. hasn't. There you go. Um, right. So, um, um, sorry, let me read this comment quickly. Here come the little violin, says Robert. Shocking result for Spurs, says Brokeback System. Mm. Uh, Big Andrews, clueless. Didn't make a single change until they were 3 0 down, says uh, yeah. Stuart. And. That Muniz Carver, how has been playing well, says Robert, which is obviously the striker who. Oh, he's on fire, Robert. He he, is. He, he's on fire, man. Boys. So, yeah, he's the one that finished that chance where I'd say Van der Ven would have shut him down. But mm. he finished it well. His first touch took it wide of him and then bang, right across the keeper into the corner. Really good finish, man. The boy's on fire. Yeah. About that. Right. So, um, I. No, no, I know without even looking at this. What do we pick? No one would have picked a uh, free No, like I went 3 1 to Spurs. You went 2 all. Game of chance there. Rob went 2 all. Shu said 3 1 to Spurs. 2 all said Inky. 2 1 to Spurs said Mel. 2 1, Molly said to Spurs. 3 1 to Spurs said Danny, as did Lawrence. So, right. So, there were some points scored, not from the correct result, obviously. Uh, there was five cards, nine corners. Right. So, um, I picked nine corners, so I got ten points there. Five, nine. Five, nine. Malk also picked nine corners, so he scored Ooh. in three consecutive games. Wow. Uh, five, nine. Robert correctly picked five cards. Uh, five. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, me, Malk, and yeah. Robert scored ten each for that game. Okay. Uh, uh, me and Inky... <laughs> I've got and Lawrence have got nothing. 
uh, Robert says, my first and only points this week. Remember, you look, we only done six or seven games as well. So it'd be a lower scoring. But Malk is now in the lead, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He's hit every time. Malk's flying. Yeah. But, you know, if, if you need to um, fiddle the books because it's Malk and that, you know, you can just do it. Mm. Um, right. So next game. West Ham United won, Aston Villa won. Now, there was controversy over West Ham two disallowed goals. Uh, yeah. Let me hear yours and, and, you know, the people in the chat. What's your opinion on the game and then also, obviously, those two key decisions? Ah, oh, the game, man. The first half, we, we were bloody good, you know? And I was confident in this game. I thought we were going to... I thought we'd win it. Didn't yeah. think it would be a problem. You know, everyone... Worried about Villa, I weren't. Especially with McGinn out. And I thought Watson's, uh, what's he, was yeah. going to be out too. But Watkins. he weren't. Yeah. Watkins, sorry. And, uh, but McGinn made a massive difference. And I think we had him on so smart. And then we sort of went deep again in the second half and then waiting for them to fucking score, basically. Uh, but we rallied right at the end and uh, could have nicked it. You know? Could have nicked it, but we didn't. But... Regarding that, now I really, when I watch the stream, I watch here at the end of that game, they brought a referee in, they really replayed from every angle the two goals for handball. And after yeah. watching that, mate, I agree with both decisions. They were both handballs. Don't agree with the law, but the one that hit uh, Antonio on his hand, he had his hand no, in, no. right next to his stomach, but oh, it yeah, did yeah. hit his hand. It hit his hand. And the law is if his hand goes in, it could have hit his gut and gone in, or his hip, you know what I mean? But he had his hand there, and it's disallowed. The other one with Socek, he definitely, when you see the slow-mo of one particular camera angle, he definitely pushed his arm forward to make it go forward. It hits Bowen and rolls in. Now, the, the big why it took so long, which it should mm. never have been, yeah. is when Socek, if he accidentally handballed that Socek, Mm. And it hits Bowen and goes in. It can be given. Yeah. That can be given. But he did. He, you can see him turn his shoulder to the ball and he pushed it because he was just desperate to start to keep the ball in. I think it was just a reaction, you know. Wasn't necessarily trying to handball it. It was just trying to get his body in front to stop it coming out so it'll go back in. So I I agree with it. I was sickened by the bloody two decisions because they that referee gave us both of them goals. Yeah, I know. Which was my pick, 3-1. I actually got it right. The I referee gave one, it three so goals. One, yeah. 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 But I was sickened by it. I was gutted for the fucking VAR. But they, to me, they got it right. Ridiculous amount of time for the subject goal to decide it, though. And then send the referee to the screen. Jesus Christ. Ridiculous. Mm. Yeah. But the weird and thing about it, though, Titch, when you think about this handball law, which is all wrong, it's fucked. It, Antonio hits his hand. He's got his hand in front of his stomach, right? Hits his hand and goes in. Now, switch that around. If he'd been the de- now, that's given as a handball. Mm. If you switch that around, he was defender with his hand there and he hits they his hand. They it's give not given as a handball. So you've got one law there. It's different for the defender as it is yeah. for the attack. Now, that yeah. to me is wrong. You can't have that in football. How can you no. have the law that yeah, it's different for one set of players than the other? Yeah. I think it's mad, but it's, true. it's the yeah. law. The law is the problem. But there you go. I think um, I'm not. I'm sure when they have the ref watch, I think the referee who was on the ref on Sky Sports, he felt that because it took so long, that would then imply it wasn't clear and obvious because you took that long. So therefore, the goal yeah. should have stood. I think that came from a you know head ex ref yes. or whatever, where it's just yeah. too long. It wasn't clear and obvious if it's taking you six minutes. And all these slow mos and all, it wasn't a clear and obvious error, which is what VAR is for. Has the referee made a clear and obvious error? And you took that long to determine, and then you still sent him to the screen. So yeah, but I it. think them taking that long is is the incompetence of the people in the VAR room, because yeah. as soon as you know, I'm fuming, I'm going, come, it's got to be a goal. But as yeah. soon as I saw that one angle, yeah, you I, see, you know what I mean. All I needed was that, and I went, no, nah, he's handball, fuck it. You know, I went, oh well, you know, unlucky. But it's all you needed to see that once. You knew it was handball. You didn't need the referee to go to the monitor. You didn't. You need to see that, and you know he he pushed it forward. So you know what I mean? Why did the hell take so long? Why uh, it took so long? I I don't know, man. 
unless right. unless that was the last angle they looked at and it took them five minutes to look at it. I don't know, man. Uh, in regards to having no points, Lawrence says this shit is fixed. <laughs> And Wally is really embracing his Brokeback Mountain character. He says, nice again, Malk. I'm just behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not for the first time. <laughs> uh, being night school, says Malk. He's been uh, studying on these. West Ham are robbed, pure and simple. Says Stuart. <laughs> what about first disallowed goal by Kudos? Even before now, now Wally. See, that I have a question with. Yeah, right? but... Because I only watched the highlights and everybody in the comments on YouTube is like, what about the kudos goal? And obviously, I didn't, they didn't even show it on the uh, Sky Sports. No, he, he had a bit of a usual. He was standing in front of the keeper, had a little tussle with him, and then the ball broke out. Referee hadn't blown for anything at this stage, but then they lose the ball and then kudos hits it. But as he's going to hit it, he blows the whistle. Oh. He weren't blowing the whistle, but then he did. And he should have let that play out. And it was a crack. It was a good goal. Yeah, but he gave the foul on the goalkeeper from Antonio. So even if he hadn't have blown, there's no way. Oh, or he, he then decides to blow after the ball went in. Said no, it's a free kick. There's no way the VAR is going to overturn it anyway. But I didn't think he fouled the keeper. I think he got that wrong. So we were robbed then, weren't we? That's in that one, know. not the handballs, but in that yeah, one, I think we were. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it was, it was fuck all. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> Malk says, rather you be in front, Wally. I'm a virgin. I, I, <laughs> and I, I intend to stay that way. <laughs> uh, um, it's it's the length it took. I don't know if he's talking about Brokeback Mountain or uh, the VAR. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I was a real... I watched that game, and after a dodgy start, I thought the Hammers were unlucky, says Mark. Um, yeah, we were unlucky. Mark, we were unlucky, but like I said, the two handballs, I thought they were right. The other one, no. I think we should have. that should have stood. But the, again, the, the other bit of that referee where he bottled it, when they gave a free kick to him as the ball came to Mavropanis, and he just launched it up in the air, and he booked him for kicking the ball away, right? And then fucking two minutes later, that Danilo, whatever he's not... He was on a booking, and then he got to the throw and he threw the ball away and to waste get, time. And didn't get a And he, the referee bottled it. He should have been sent off. Is that before he scored? scored? Because Zaniolo, is that what you're talking no, about? No, after he scored, right near the end. It, it wouldn't have made a lot of difference, but he bottled it. Yeah. You know, I mean, he booked Mavropanos for doing it, but not him. Yeah, yeah. He, he should have been sent off for it. Um, right, so that game finished one all. What did we pick for this game, score-wise? Well, I picked the right score, 3-1 or Yeah, so did I, 2-1. Yeah. I'll get that. Fitz, you picked 2-1 or West Ham. Rob went 3-1 West Ham. Stu went 3-1 West Ham. Inky went 3-1 Villa. Malk, you're fucking kidding me. Malk's on fire. On Malk's fire. Malk's gone 1-1. Shit. Four. I don't even read that before. I hit four on a trot, but... Four on a trot. <laughs> Fuck it out. Boy, he's, he's right up his clacker. Yeah. Up, one said up, right up the jack seat. <laughs> Fuck it out. What a battle. 3-0 uh, to Villa said Danny. 2-1 to West Ham said Lawrence. So, yeah. So just you're both just to clarify you lot, Wally also got the correct score. So, Wally and Malk both correctly predicted 1-0. Um, mm. They seem to be in sync now. Take from that what you want, but they're definitely uh, got a bond. Let's mm. say right, a symmetry so, going on there. Yeah, uh, there were six cards, seventeen corners. Can you believe that? There's seventeen corners in that game. Uh, six wow. cards. Now, obviously, I'm just looking at these things here now. So, thankfully, I correctly predicted the card, so I get ten points for that. Mm. Um, six, seven, eight, one, four, eleven, five, ten. Malk. Has doubled down on his, and he also put six cards. So he gets another ten points for that game. This is a big score for uh, the amount of games already. And Danny also picked six correct cards, so Danny gets another ten points. And unfortunately, he's not here, but he's getting points. Is Danny got thirty at the minute? What are we on? Let's give me the score yeah. thing, please. After the after that, D thing. Danny's on twenty. Oh, 20. What's the scores? Because we got three more games after this. Right. I'm on a big zero. <laughs> You're on 20. 
Rob's on 10. Stu's on 10. Ink in with me, zero. Malk has 50 points. 50? Wally oh, yeah. has 30 points. Danny's got 20. Lawrence, big fat zero. Um, right. Watch Charlie on comp, and he's brilliant at watch alongs. Yes, he is, says Malk. Uh, so Malk was watching Charlie Walsh. Malk, go on, Malk. Malk's on fire. Wally and Malk must have discussed these matches on the mountain. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking that because I'm going back to... In that tent. They're in that tent together, man. I'm going oh, back to this comment here. Nice again, Mal. You see that again is the key word. Nice again, Mal. I'm just behind you. So, uh, and then Robert backed that up with it's the length it took. <laughs> He's calling you it, Wally. Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, Mal, look, Wally's given Mal the older strong arms, yeah, the fist, strong wrists. I mean, arms, uh. Right. Just read that Kane, Palmer and Henderson will miss the game with Brazil. Uh, mm -hmm. That's good. Kane missing is good because then I want to. I do want to see either... I don't even know if Solanke's in the squad, but I want to see Watkins or someone else up front. So yeah. I don't mind that. Palmer, I'm not really too fast. And Henderson... S Saka, Saka's gone out, hasn't he? Oh, has he? We got sacked. Mm. Did he get sacked? Some kind of injury on his uh, ankle or something. That's good. We can... Yeah, have a look. Bowen well, should... Bowen might get a look oh. in. You never know. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, Lawrence, mm. Wally and Mount riding off into the sunset together, said Inky. <laughs> Inky. On the same horse. On the same horse. <laughs> uh, still got more points on my driving license, uh, says Mount. <laughs> right, so um, right, we've got three more games from last week, and then we'll get into the 10. Right, so the next game on here was Leeds 2, Millwall 0. Oh, I thought uh, I was going to get me for 10. Uh, <laughs> uh, obviously, we didn't watch that. Um, I thought Leeds would win that game. So did you. But, yeah, we might as well just get... No, let, before we get into what we picked, let me just tell you. I know, it, I think it temporarily put Leeds top. Um, yeah. Um, but then, obviously, Ipswich... Let me check that league table now. Um, championship. Champ. Championship. So, yeah, Leeds did go top. For, right. Oh, sorry. They are still top. My bad. It's sorry. Top. Yeah, I think they are, yeah. I thought that Lip, I don't know why. Anyway, so obviously Leicester got a game in hand. They're level on points of Leeds. Leeds got a better goal difference. But now we're hearing Leicester may well have some points deducted. Ipswich yeah. played the same games as Leeds, uh, but are one point behind. And Southampton have got two games in hand, but they are nine points behind. Obviously, win them six, uh, three points. Anyway, it's looking good for Leeds, but they've got a real, uh, that's a real battle for those top two uh, places. Uh, so yeah, it's looking good. But yeah, Leeds. Sorry, Leeds are actually currently top of the of the championship. Yeah, was, uh, it didn't look like that was going to happen. You know, eight weeks ago, yeah. hell of a hell of a run, isn't it? Hell of a run to get back and get points and get up there. Massive turnaround, and um, you know, I haven't I follow Leeds scores and that, but not so much. But I'm saying Daniel Farker deserves a lot of credit for. Remember, at the start of the season, we were saying mm. all they got to do is turn these draws into wins. We both yeah. said that they are they've got to adapt to the championship, so it's it's as expected, but they do need to start turning those draws into wins, and they've done that. Uh, and the manager yeah. has to take massive credit for uh Leeds' upturn in in, in fortune and form. Absolutely. So they got the right man. That was you know, whoever appointed him, you definitely regardless of what happens from here on in, unless you just lose every game, you identified what was mm. needed. In a, in a manager and and you and you done your due diligence obviously and, and you're right because you, I mean he's up against Ipswich and Leicester bloody two good teams mate. Yeah. so he, he's holding his own there he's doing well really well yeah so. uh, and like I said I'm sure he beat he beat both of them home and away didn't he yeah I think he beat both didn't he that's crazy mm -hmm. uh, that's crazy uh, I'm sure he beat Leicester um, Ipswich and Leicester home and away. Uh, right, Mount says, hurry up and overtake me, Wally. I'm getting neck ache. Keep looking behind me. I sweat easy. <laughs> you don't need to get, get a room. I can set up a private stream for you two. And, uh, yeah. mm. uh, you Watch out. Wally's well, well, quite stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> he's a big guy. You know. Leads are mm. number one. Fire. Danny's here. Even in, I guess, no points for me. You guessed wrong. You've actually got 20 points. You're on uh, 20, Danny. 
Yeah, yeah. Just, just read it out again. Sorry, just for Danny's benefit, because obviously he wasn't. Danny, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm flying, Danny. I'm on zero. <laughs> Titchy on 20. Rob's on 10. Stu's on 10. Inky on zero. Malk's on fire with 50. Wally's got 30. Danny, you've got 20. And Lawrence with big fat zero. Do you think Wally's form previously has just put a rocket up Mount's ass? Mm, yeah, I think mean, I think mean, yeah, it, I think it was more about the brilliance. I, when I hit my hundred points, he's been gagging the trunk. Unfortunately, he ain't got enough. Probably ain't got enough games this week to nah, catch not me. Not this week. It's not yeah, it's unfortunate because I don't yeah. remember someone having fifty points after what four, four games. Four, four games. That's crazy. That's a it? brilliant. That's a brilliant score. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. And uh, it was actually Giza said to me last week, yeah, just keep it at six. Don't do the FA Cup games just in case Malk's on fire. So blame yeah. Giza again. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Let me just get through the comments and then we'll get through our predictions. What we put. Hey, Danny, I think you have a point or two. Stu, Danny, if Farquhar doesn't win Man of the Year, EFL need looking into, says Danny. Uh, yeah. You keep going on about it. Titch, I think you're a rare gunner. <laughs> nah, I think my uh, my large uh, no. family would, would, would uh, probably back me up. <laughs> All these yeah. kids running around. He's got, he's got 16 <laughs> bloody kids, mate. <laughs> so it's uh, that one. Lee's done brilliantly. Wow. Yeah, you're good, Danny. You've got... Yeah. Right, so, um, what do we pick score-wise? It finished Leeds 2, Millwall 0. What do we pick? Yeah, I went 2-1, mate. 2-1. Mm -hmm. And there you go. Titch, uh, you said 3-1. Robert said 3-1. One. one all said Stu. 3-1 said Inky. 2-1 said Malk. Close, mate. 2-1 said Wally. 2-1 said Danny. 2-1 said Lawrence. A lot of 2-1s for Leeds, but Sorry, two ones, isn't it? It was two yeah. one, wasn't it? No, it I'll, get, I'll go back. I'll go back. I was thinking it was two nil. Yeah. I didn't mean two nil. It was. It was two nil. It was two nil. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 no yeah, yeah two two lots of two ones, right? Uh, but it was two nil. Right. Um, I think I've got this right. One person got ten points. Now let me just confirm this. So there were six cards and fifteen corners. Right, let me just confirm this. 615. Wow, that's a lot of corners, mate. 615, 615. Right, the only person that got the correct cards and is on the scoreboard finally is Inky, not you, Giza. Yeah, oh, you wanker. I thought you were <laughs> setting me up, man. I did set you up. <laughs> oh, hell. I want it definitely me. Uh, well, it's only me and Lawrence then. Me and Lawrence oh, are on Lawrence, the zero. Well, I thought it was just you. We're, 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 the, we're the bottom of the table relegation fight here. You're, at the the moment. Burnley, you're Burnley and Sheffield United at the minute then. Uh, oh, fuck right. Me. So, um, second to last game was Ipswich 6, Sheffield Wednesday 0, which I said this at the start, which you lot convinced me and Gideon yeah. that yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a tight one. And, yeah. What are they thinking? <laughs> Six nil, man. So me. The knowledge of the championship maybe just goes as far as them knowing about Leeds because, yeah, that was clearly. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah don't take that. notice anyone else. Yeah, we're not but, taking anyone yeah. notice of you lot. Look straight in with these scores, eh? Because I yeah. didn't watch it. Yeah, let's go. What's the scores? Well, I went 3 1, but even though it should be 3 0, I put 3 0 to it switch. You went 2 0, it switch. Rob went 2 1, it switch. Stu went 2-1 to Sheffield United. Inky went 3-1 to Sheffield United. Malk said 1-1. One, one. Wally went 2-1 to Ipswich. Danny went... All the Leeds boys went against Ipswich. I can't yeah. understand it. Lawrence went 3-1 to Sheffield Wednesday. No, so yeah. It was Lawrence. only uh, me, you and Rob that gave uh, Ipswich a win, which I always thought would be comfortable with. Right, and Wally, Wally. Wally did as well. So all the West Ham... All the West Ham boys knew it to Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence has been mixing with his leads up too long. And Lawrence... So all West Ham, we knew. Mm. Uh, I didn't even give Sheffield Wednesday a goal. I said 2-0. Like, they're not scoring against Ipswich. Uh, so yeah, Lawrence should uh, maybe get... Minus 10 for that, so that you're above him. Do you reckon that'd be yeah, you got more points than Lawrence? Um, right, so 
There were three cards, 14 corners, right? Now, let me see if anybody got any points. Three and 14. Three and 14. Three and 14. Three and 14. One person correctly predicted three cards. And that be Lawrence. Was, that be Lawrence. <laughs> that was Roberto. He correctly picked three cards. And we've only got one more game to go. And I know nobody got this score right. So, yeah. So, Robert's got 10. So, we're going into the last... Yes. We're not going to... Ooh. Yeah. Right. So, the last game was Darmstadt at home to Bayern Munich. The game ended up Darmstadt 2, Bayern Munich 5. Harry Kane scored again. So, I think he's got 31 league goals. Um, Leverkusen ended up winning the following day. So, there's still 10 points adrift of them. The games are running out. So the curse of Harry Kane is, you know, they ten ten trophy uh, ten league titles on a trot. He joins them, scores those of goals, but they ain't winning the league. Um, I don't suppose you watched that game, did you? I watched the highlights. Funny enough, oh, you did? came okay. off of my thing. Ah, and mate, I was so unlucky. I gave I gave them five goals. Yeah, in my prediction, mate. And what they made a load of changes when they were whatever up. And then they conceded two sloppy goals. But uh, there you go. That's it, really. Yeah, that was just too good. Yeah, but I'm, I'm surprised that Dom's that scored two goals. Uh, I didn't yeah, they should have scored two. But... Yeah. Game was uh, over, though. I mean. Yeah. Right. Before we get into our predictions and then move on to this week's 10 games, uh, he said, Wally and Mount riding off into the sunset together. Uh mm. Mount says, still got more points than my driving license. Hurry up and... Over oh, no. What's going on? So, I missed... Oh, one sec. I've read these. One sec. Please, I'm brilliantly... Keep going on. And... Hold on a minute. A little bit... Right. Oh. One second. Where was I? Right. Wow. Right. Lawrence, Wally, you watching any of the NCAA tournament? 2-0 uh, Dippy. Okay, I'm behind. Kentucky and Auburn lost. Get in, says Inky. Inky, well done. Good on Inky. Right, let me just catch up. A little bit, Lawrence. Was watching Auburn getting handled by the Ivy Yallies. Yeah, Ivy Yallies, sorry. Cheers, boys. It just didn't expect to score six. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> how does Auburn lose to a bunch of nerds? Uh, that's a weird name. Ivy Yallies. Is that their actual name? Wishful thinking... Like I said, mine was hope prediction. All right, give your points to Giza then. If that's okay. <laughs> uh, there are no Premier League games. Nah, but we've got 10 uh, international games. Uh, no, one of them is the, the WSL. And one is in MLS. And then eight international friendlies. Right, so what did we pick for Darmstadt 2, Bayern Munich 5? I went Darmstadt 0, Bayern Munich 5. You went 6-0 to Bayern. Rob went 4-0 to Bayern. Stu went 5-0 to Bayern. 3 0 said Inky. 4 1 said Mount. They gave him a goal. 2 1 said Wally to Bayern. 7 0 said Danny to Bayern. And Lawrence went 4 0 to Bayern. So obviously, 5 2 was the score. No one got that. Right. So there was only one card. So you can imagine nobody picked one card. And there was 11 corners. Now, one person correctly predicted 11 corners. And that was System Broke Back Wally. He predicted 11 points. So we end last week's uh, um, competition with how many? Yeah, what's the point total? Yeah, I'll do it. It's total right. My total is zero. <laughs> I have fallen. Uh, Titch got 20. Rob got 20. Stu got 10. Iggy got 10. Malk, I'll go back to him. He's on 50. Danny is on 20. Lawrence is on zero with me. Wally is on 40. So Malk gets 50. Wally gets 40. Malk's the winner this week. Well done, Malk. Well done, Malk. Yeah, and hell of a fast start that was. Last three games with nothing, but yeah, hell of a fast start. He's he done all his work early, though. So can we just confirm Wally was right behind Malk, yeah? 
he was right yeah, again, right. yeah, right behind right. him. Right oh, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, yeah. no, well done, uh, Mal. You know, this is a mm. it's a friendly little thing, but it's yeah, it's good to see someone else pop up, especially like Mal was like the dark yeah. horse, just come out of nowhere. Yeah, Matt, Wally's I'm the giver. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, right, there we go. Wishful thinking. Well done, Rob. There are no Premier League games this week, but don't worry, we got ten games. Uh, and the good thing about this show is you don't really need to know too much, too, too much. You know, when it comes to cards and corners, you just pick. Steve's favourite TV show is Rawhide. <laughs> Do you know Rawhide? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, Warren, Lawrence says it again. This shit is fixed. So did Lawrence get no points as well? Hey, Lawrence. Yeah, Lawrence got fuck all. But I, wait, but it's fixed. I wouldn't get fuck all. What are the points? Yeah. But I got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Geezer, no points. I'm shocked, says Danny. <laughs> Second week in a row, I'm number two. Says Wally. Yeah, well done, it's, yeah. He's come back a bit, Wally. Nice, Mount. But Buddy. I do, but that, having said that, he's doing his mixing up, not everything the same. I think that's better. I'll give yeah. him a bit of credit for that. But when he does all the same, no, nah, get no credit for that. Uh, nah. Inky, Inky says Mount banged it. Yes, he did. Ask Wally. Absolutely. Too bloody friendly. There's Mal. Uh, right. So, listen, you look, we're going to get straight into this week's. Um, some of them, we're going to have no clue. Uh, and they are friendlies as well, um, apart from the MLS game and the Women's Super League, which is the Manchester Derby. So, But the rest are friendly. So, it's a bit of potluck. Right. The first game is two African teams, Ivory Coast v Benin. I think they're at home, but a lot of the time they play these at neutral venues. But, yeah, Ivory Coast v Benin. So give me you lot's um, cards, corners, correct score for Ivory Coast v Benin. And Ivory Coast just won the African Cup of Nation, didn't they? They did win it, didn't they? It was them. Was it, I don't know, was it Senegal? Who won the, uh, AFCON? Senegal, was it? Uh, it was no, it was Ivory Coast. It was Ivory Coast. Okay. But what's so, again, yeah. Who scored? Alain um, scored in the final? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Ivory Coast, yeah. So, yeah, uh, the African Cup of Nations champions are playing against Benin, who I don't know anything about. Well, I'll Remember go straight they're... in. Yeah, all right. One sec. Sorry, let me put this in it. Oh, actually, let me get everyone's name first and then copy and paste it. One sorry. second. Let's go Giza first. Giza, put my name here. Who else have we got here? Wally. Danny. No particular order, you lot. Danny. Lawrence. Inky, oops, wrong line. One sec. Lawrence, Inky, uh, Robert, Stuart, and Mount. Wait, hold on. Giza, Titch, Wally, Danny, Lawrence, Inky, Robert, Stuart, Mount. Is that everybody today? I ain't forgotten that one, have I? Right. Let's go. Uh, I donate five points to Wally, rather him be alongside <laughs> alongside me. <laughs> Keep my eye on it. That's a good one. <laughs> Wally, Wally would rather you keep the points, I think, uh, Mount. You know what I mean? Uh, right, so Stuart went first. Stuart, Danny, Wally. Right, did, did you read that comment? <laughs> <laughs> I, I told him Wally would rather yeah. he keep the points. Right, so uh, right, give me your one. Uh, what did you right four how many four one to Ivory Coast? Yeah. What do you want? Cards. Cards four. Four. Corners nine. Four nine four one. Yeah. Four nine four one. Oops. Yeah. Four nine four one. Right, so um, Stuart says 3 14 4 0. He says 4 0, 3 14 4 0. Stuart 3 14 4 0. Right, uh, Danny says 4 0 as well. 5 8 4 0. Danny 5 8 4 0. Wally says 2-1 to Ivory Coast. 3-11-2-1, Wally. 3-11-2-1. Who's next? Lawrence says 2-0 to Ivory Coast. 
Two now. Two now. Oh, Robert says six one Ivory Coast. Six one. Um, ah, oh, what he's got to go, guys. I've got to go going out for a bite to eat with some cowboys. No, Lovely, Wally. Oh, yeah. it's a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. Thanks, as always. Great fun. Nah, glad you could... Um, yeah, it's a shame you can't yeah. see. Because you're always yeah. up there with the points. He's just going out in the garden getting that tent with his mate. Yeah, he's got, he's got uh, more important things to do, isn't he? Um, but, yeah, have a good time, Wally, doing what you do. Right, Inky, so... 2-0. 5-12, two 2-0, nil. Two nil. Inky. 5... Twelve, two <coughs> now. It's, right, it's just me and Malk. Nice. Oh, Malk says he's retiring. He's going out on top. Malk says free one to Ivory Coast. We'll tell him to put his tongue away. His breath smells. <laughs> That's why what he's leaving. They're having a, a, a tiff. Put me down. <laughs> oh, all right. He says here we go. What he says put me down for. Three eleven two one for all mass matches. Oh yeah, that's a, yeah. I'm glad you can. Yeah, I'd rather you do yeah. this. Okay. That's yeah, that's fine. If uh, you're allowed to do it this week because you won't be here yet. Fair enough. And we're determined where that two one goes because you know if it's yeah. in favour of the favourite, we'll obviously like Uruguay v Bass Country. It's clearly going to be a Uruguay win. Uh, anyway, um, all right, just me. One sec. Let me just get through this. Take care, buddy. Right. So I'm going to go Ivory Coast. I'm going to go 3 1. I've got a feeling Ivory Coast will maybe will, because they've their exploits, they might just try out some new players or whatever. Um, I'm going to go five cards, um, eight corners. No, I'm going to go seven corners and 3 1. Right. So the next game is your boys, Ireland. At home to Belgium. Oh shit! I didn't copy and paste this today. Oh no, no, sorry, Mount. What did Mount say? Three one. Let me. Oh sorry, let me. Mount said. I didn't even put his. Mount. Three nine three one. Three nine three one. Yeah. So you lot, Ireland v Belgium. Okay, now I didn't copy and paste all the names you. Right, I'm gonna go nine corners, three yellow cards, and one free. Uh, three cards, nine corners, yeah, yeah, and one one free. Let me just delete everybody else's because I didn't copy and paste it. Actually. Let me delete yours as well and then put it back in. Just so that when I copy and paste, I've got no scores and shit. One minute. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. One set, everyone. All right. Right, copy that. There we go. Right, so yours was three nine one three, yeah. Three yeah. nine one three. Right. Now, oh, we got to take care of it. Right, wearing my Native American headdress next week, so Wally, don't get confused. That's a um... <laughs> right. Uh, Danny says nil three. Five fourteen nil three. Danny. Five fourteen. Nail free. Um, who we got here? Mount is that Northern? It's uh, Republic of Ireland. Yeah, uh, Northern would be Republic, my word. Wouldn't it? Yeah, Republic. Uh, right. Lawrence says Ireland one, Belgium four. Four eleven one four. Lawrence four eleven one four. <laughs> Uh, Robert says Ireland two, Belgium three. Four, ten, two, three. Robert. 
four, ten, two. Yeah. Um, Inky says Belgium two nil, so nil two. Five ten nil two. Inky, come on. Five ten nil two. Who's next? There. Oh, Jess. Um, no, Jess, this is only the second game, so you can do it now. We've done Ivory Coast v Benin, and now it's this one, Ireland v Belgium. So you can just catch up. Yeah, she might be going to bed, though, she, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you she are, might, I'll, if put, you just, I'll do what, yeah. I, I'll do what I done last week. I put all the fixtures in the description, because it wouldn't let me do it in the comments. So, yeah, if you, yeah, I'll, I'll put the things, and these are all getting played tomorrow as well. Um... Right, sorry. Right, Stuart says 2-1 to Ireland. 5-15-2-1. Stuart. Stuart, 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 Stuart. Really impossible on a friendly, isn't it? You wouldn't know what team's turning up, exactly. what they're putting out. Yeah. This is a... This is a what's, the, what's the word for it for this week? Anything. Uh, right, Malk says 2-1 Ireland as well. 5-11-2-1, Malk. 5-11-2-1. Uh, Wally, what did Wally say again? He said four eleven. I'll put two one. one. I'll put two one to Belgium for it. And he, I think he said four and eleven. Well, let me just double check that. Put me down for no three, three eleven, two one Belgium. So one two, three mm. eleven, one two. Right, it's just me. Right, I'm gonna go score wise. I'm gonna go. Because Ireland's not in good form at all. I know that. Uh, I'm going to go... They're not scoring. I'm going to go 3-0 Belgium. Right. I'm going to go... Friendly shouldn't really be too many cards. I'm going to go three cards. Um, Ten corners. And I said nil three. Nil three. Right. So the next game is <laughs> Slovakia v Austria. Fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, paste. Uh, Slovakia v. Austria, everybody. Wouldn't have a clue. Uh, who was the last person to comment? Hold on. Malk was. Stu, you go in Ireland to win. They no chance of scoring, says Danny. Uh, she's on stream. To oh, shit. Sorry. So Jesse's on stream. I didn't realize that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put it in the comments. Hopefully, she can get them in. But she might, yeah, fall asleep. But I think the earliest game is at 6 p.m. I think. Anyway, so she'll have time. I think. Uh, just don't work part time on here like you pair. <laughs> right. So Danny says for Slovakia, he's smart here actually. Slovakia v Austria, he's gone for two two, which sounds kind of yeah. So four eleven two two, Danny. Four, eleven, two, two. Right, next one is Stuart says Slovakia nil, Austria two. Nine, nil, two. Stuart. Three, nine, nil, two. Who's next? Lawrence says three, one, two, Slovakia. Four, eleven, three, one. Lawrence. Four, eleven. Who's next? Robert says two two. Four, seven, two two. Um, Malk says three one two Slovakia. Four nine. This week's champion. Three one. Mm -hmm. Um, Inky, oh, Wally, let's do Wally's first. Um, ooh, 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 this is a tough, not a tough one, but yeah, who's Wally saying 2 1 2? Take your pick. <laughs> what do you no, want? I, I'll let you uh pick 3 11. Well, I'll give him, I'll give him Austria 1 2. 1 2, yeah, right. So, me, you, and Inky, right, Inky's is here. Inky says 2 2. 5 11 2 2, Inky. Five, eleven, two, two. Uh, Jess oh, says, no, sorry, guys. I'll go three, three, nine, two, one. 
three nine and two one. Okay. Three nine again. You got a little system going here, mate. Three nine. Three, well, nine. I think the cards you need to keep it low. I don't think I'll keep them at three, but you wouldn't it have thought be low. Friendly, yeah. for friendlies. It, it should probably be low. some low. Ones. Um, sorry guys on the stream, no worries. Yeah, I didn't realize, but yeah, I hope the stream goes well. And I will put the fixtures in the description because last week, for some reason, on the stream, they wouldn't let me do anything in the comments, um, or YouTube. Um, right, so it's just me. Yeah, I'm gonna go, Fucking hell. I'm gonna go to one Austria, so one, two. Um, but da, 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 da. I'm gonna go four cards only because I don't, yeah. Um, corners, I'm gonna go 11. And I said one, two, didn't I? Yeah, one, two, right? You lot, the next game Denmark at home, I believe, to Switzerland. Denmark v Switzerland. <clears throat> um. How much knowledge do you have on Denmark and Switzerland, Giza? <laughs> uh, Switzerland. Got to be better than bloody Switzerland, did not they? Switzerland have got Xhaka. I'm trying to think who else. Who else plays Switzerland? Um, yeah, got right, hold on, shit. Just right, where? Hold on a minute. Yeah, they're yeah. both they're both skiing countries, so a lot right. of mountains here. Stuart said 3 1 to Denmark. Right, Stuart, 4 11, 3 1. Stuart, 4 11, 3 1. Um, Danny says 2 2. 4 8 2 2. Danny. 4 8 2 2. Nope. Um, Robert says 2 1 to Slovakia, um, to Denmark. Sorry, that was the last game. 2 1 to Denmark, 3 10 2 1. Robert, 3 10 2 1. Robert, uh, Inky says 3 1 to Denmark, 3 10 3 1. Inky, come on now, 3 10 Inky, Inky, 3 1. Um, Malk says nil two, so Denmark nil, Switzerland two. Malk, this week's champion four nine nil two, four nine nil two. Uh, Wally, right? So Wally is it was free, wasn't it? Let me just, yeah, Wally is free 11. Uh, give me a score for Wally two one to Denmark, two, uh, two, two one. one for Wally. Right. Uh, oh, Lord, did Lawrence. Well done, Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence is there. Lawrence says three two to Denmark. Five eleven three two. Lawrence, five eleven three two. Do you want me to go? You want to go? Four ten two one to Denmark. Four ten two one. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four one Denmark. Um, cards gotta be. Mm, I'm gonna say four cards and nine corners. Four nine four one. Four nine. One right, the next game, everybody, is England v Brazil. Where's this game been played, by the way? Is it Wembley or somewhere else? I know, <laughs> don't care. No. Um, yeah, England v Brazil. This to be, um, obviously, Robert's put in a chat who's missing. Kieran's also added that Saka's not playing, so yeah, it might be a different look. England, Brazil. Yeah. Obviously, Brazil ain't got Neymar. I'm trying to think who else is. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with their squad. Both the keep is Allison and Edison both injured as well. Yeah, so they their keepers are out. <coughs> yeah, mate. Oh, right, Lawrence they could be firing a lot of players out as well. Brazil, couldn't they? Just yeah, 
It wouldn't. I was turning up here, man. Right. Lawrence is saying England won, Brazil three. Six, 11, one, three. One. Six, 11. One, three. One, three. Uh, oh, Danny is saying the same. One, three. Five, eight, one, three. Danny. Oh, come on. Five, eight, one, three. Um, Stuart says two, one, Brazil. Three, eleven, one, two, Stuart. Three, eleven, one, two. Robert says free all. That will be good. Wouldn't it? Um, Inky says two two. Four, thirteen, two two. Inky. Four, two two. Right. Oh, Wally. Okay. Who's Wally? Who's right? Wally's three eleven. Who's Wally going two one two in this game? What do you reckon? I'm going to give it to England or Brazil. I, I think Wally would go England. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll go England. Um, so it's me, you, and Malk. Right, well, Malk's done his. Malk. Oh, here we go. He says, five nine. And Kieran, pick mine. I don't predict my country either. So you're picking for this week's. Uh, did you pick for him last week? Maybe you, you contributed yeah. to his points somehow. Maybe all of them. No, I didn't. If I, if I did, yeah, no, because that Leeds game got wrong to me. Uh, I reckon... Oh, I'll give you the same as mine, Mel. I reckon England are going to beat them 3-0. 3-0, yeah? Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Because I still think you'll play Lucky Maguire and maybe Stones. He wants to see that back four. Carl Walker. I mean, he, he, he can change everything else, but I think he'll want to see the back line as strong as he can. And I think they'll struggle to score Brazil. But I could be wrong. He might put all sorts of fucking defenders in there. But I'm going. So, for Malk, is 3 0 to England. Yep, I've got that. 5 9. Yep. All right. Uh, so you're saying 3 0. What are you saying for cards and corners then? Right. Well, yeah, we'll do both the same. I'll go uh, four cards and uh, 12 corners. 4 12, 3 0. Um, what do I think for this game? England, England, Brazil. I'm going to go... Um, I don't know if I'm... Gonna, yeah, I am. Fuck it. I'm going to go 3-2 England. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go three cards this time. Three cards... Nine corners, three nine, three nine, and three two, three two. Right, uh, before we move on, England, uh, Danny said England ain't scoring with big nose playing, he's not playing though. No. Oh, without him playing, without Kane playing. Um, that's both of us knackered then, says Mount <laughs> Mount Kieran's getting you back there, Lafa. Right, so the next game <laughs> is right, this will be an interesting game, it's Uruguay against. The Basque Country, which is a region in Spain, obviously, where Barcelona, I think, Athletic Bilbao are from the Basque region as well, I think. Anyway, it's, you know, and as Kieran said, they've been fighting for independence for many, many years. But, yeah, it's the first time I think I've seen their name as a in a, in a fixture like this. I've seen, I have seen them in other fixtures against, you know, minnows, but I've not seen them play in the last wow. of Uruguay. Um, let me just click on them quickly. It's a weird one. B A S Q U E. Best country, right? Um, so before you lot pick your scores yet, ah, oh, some of you do it already. They lost to uh, a club of Powell FC, which is a French club side, I believe. They lost 3 0 to them. They beat Costa Rica 2 1. They drew with Panama 0 0. Uh, they beat Venezuela 4 2. They beat Tunisia 3 1. They played against Athletic Bilbao, obviously, being from that region, and beat them 1 0. They beat Bolivia 6 1. This is crazy. I can't believe this. Uh, and they wow. drew with Tunisia and they also drew with Estonia in 2011 when they was first 
formed, obviously. So of late, they're yeah, they're beating teams. Costa Rica, uh, Venezuela, Bolivia. So shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. I said they could be in a region with a lot, a lot of good players, mate. Bear in mind, bear in mind, Athletic Bilbao can only select players from that region. Um, mm. So the the region is bigger than you know. Yeah, they've got Barcelona. So yeah, it's they'll have some tidy little footballers in there. But yeah, they've beaten Venezuela and Bolivia. They're all friendlies, but still, uh, this is a yeah, friendly match. Right, let yeah. me see. Right, but so, it's out in Uruguay. Uh, we take so. You know, sometimes mm. these friendlies are played in different countries, isn't it? but yeah, it's Uruguay is really much. Team. right. So let me just copy and paste that. Paste right. So Stuart was first and said 2 1. 4 11 2 1. Four, Stuart two, said 2 1. 2 1, yeah, to Uruguay. Okay, oh, he said he's, he had to, he had to go with them because Bielsa's in charge of Uruguay, ain't he? Gets me back before. Oh, yeah. So, Stu... <laughs> Lawrence has said 3 1 to Uruguay. 5 11 3 1. Mm. Lawrence. 5 11 3 1. Uh, Danny says 3 0. Bielsa in charge. 5 7 3 0. Danny. Um, three nil. Well, Bielsa in charge. You'd definitely concede goals, Danny, wouldn't I? <laughs> they might uh, score right. four or five, but they concede some. Sorry, Robert. So this is Uruguay v Basque Country, which is you. I'm sure you're aware. It's a region in in Spain, but yeah, they've obviously got some sort of independence to have their own national team. Um, yeah. Malk says, "Who are we on about?" I can't multitask. So yeah, once again, it's Uruguay v Basque Country. Uh, Inky says five nil Feckett to Uruguay. Inky three eleven. Five nil, inky inky. Three. Hey, this is a right. Hold on. So five nil. So it's oh Wally. Wally Two one. Your ball. Your ball. He's going. Yeah. So Wally is three eleven. Two one. Me, you, Robert, and Malk. But obviously, if we can go because they was obviously weren't aware of the teams, right? You want to no, go? I'll go. Uh, ugh. Five yellows, right? Twelve corners. Yep. yep. And four one to Uruguay. I'm gonna go card. Might be a feisty one. Uruguay's involved. I remember mm. back in the day they used to be dirty fuckers, but uh, absolutely. I was gonna. I, I don't know why I would say. I'm gonna say six yellows. I don't even know why because really it's it a could be. Match. It one used to be them. horrible, horrible. Yeah. Fuck. I know. So fuck it. I'm gonna say six cards. 13 corners, 6 13, and I'm going to say Uruguay 3, Basque Country 2. Same as England, Brazil. I'm going to have 3 2 again. What did I say? Shit. I said 6 cards, 13. I said 13. Yeah, I said 13 corners and 3 2. Right. Robert and Mal. Right. So Robert says 3 1 to Uruguay. Four, one, four, eleven, three, one, and Malk says three nil to Uruguay. Seven nine. He's going for seven cards. Seven. Mm. Oh shit! Wrong line. Yeah, they were the what? They were the team in the '66 World Cup finals. That after they played England, fuck me, they were. It was just an assault. I mm. think Alf Ramsey stopped England uh, England players shaking hands with him or swapping yeah, shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was disgusted. And, yeah, they were animals. Dirty. Called them animals, I think. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, right. The but, next yeah. game is one team that we're more familiar with. It's Croatia v Tunisia. Croatia v Tunisia, everybody. Tunisia, England played them in the World Cup, didn't we? Beat them 6-1, was it? It was yeah, Tunisia, right. wasn't it? This should yeah. be a... Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem for uh, Croatia, that one. You want to go? 
Yeah, go on. I'll go uh, three nil. Yep. Four cards, uh, nine corners. Four nine three nil. Right, let me put mine in, and then we'll just that's done. Uh, I'm gonna go Croatia. Three mm. one. I'm gonna go three one Croatia. Uh, I'm gonna go three cards. Eight corners and three one. Right. So now we get to the chat. Right. Uh, Lawrence says three nil. To Croatia, five, 11, 11, 3 0. Uh, Danny says, um, Croatia one, Tunisia two, or 11, 1, 2. Danny, <clears throat> four, 11, 1, 2. Uh, Inky says, three, one to Croatia. Uh, Malk says that was Argentina. Kieran Rotten got sent off, but yeah, because I remember Uruguay used to. Oh, be is it? Dirty. He says that was. Sure, he had a bad one against Uruguay as well. Malk, it's in my head. Argentina was bad. Yeah, it was. I'm sure, he had a bad one against them as well. But anyway, maybe. But I, but Uruguay was more than one World Cup that they was just a dirty team, though, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> they were known for just being like, yeah. They were known for it, yeah. That was terrible. Uh, right, so Robert says, uh, oh, he's saying Croatia nil, Tunisia four. What? <laughs> nil, Robert. Just confirm, right. Robert, that you are saying Tunisia four nil. And not no, Robert, Robert is Tunisian. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's saying four nil. Two, seven, four yeah, nil. Absolutely. Robert, Robert, Robert. Two, seven. Fucking knitting down there, mate. Nil four. Um, Stuart says four nil to Croatia. Three eleven four nil. Stuart. Three eleven four nil. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, Stuart. We know you're Croatia because they're at home. Uh, Malk says three one Croatia. Four nine three one Malk. Three one. Ro oh no, that was the first game v Uruguay nil nil. Argentina was quarter final. Her scored in a one nil win. Yeah. Okay, Mark. Yeah, it was. It was that, mate. But I do remember there was a problem with Uruguay. Whether it was a sixty six World Cup or like all, all the yeah, other ones. Might be might be seventy in Mexico. I can't remember. But anyway, are we going? Yeah, are we going Wally two one Croatia? Yeah? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Okay, right, that's cool. Right, so you lot, the next game, big game in international football, France v Germany. Uh, France, Ooh. probably alongside England, are the favourites for that, but also Germany being the home team. So, yeah, this is a, a big game. Yeah, France v Germany. Um, let me just copy and paste this. Paste. Uh, mm. I think I think both these teams in this game will want to lay down a marker for Germany being the home uh, the host nation and France, yeah, like you know being the. I think they've got to be favourites alongside England to win it. Um, yeah, this should be a that might be a, this might be a decent game to watch as an international, you know, a friendly international. Right, Danny is saying France 2, Germany 3. 5, 12, 2. No, sorry, sorry, my bad. I can't see properly. He's saying 3 all. 3 all. My, yeah, sorry. That's my bad. Right, it's 5, 12, 3, 3, Danny. Danny. If they, if they got Werner up front, mate, he'll miss 6, so they won't score a goal. Who should they have? They'll have Sane, maybe Muller. 
uh, Havertz will be in this team, you'd imagine. Um, mm. Right. Lawrence is saying 3 1 to France. 4 11, 3 1, Lawrence. 3 1. Who's next? They went, they weren't pleasant in the group game, so see where there's confusion. He's talking about Uruguay. All right. No, so all right. No, Robert meant Croatia. So Robert was talking about Croatia 4 0. I thought so. Let me change that on yeah. here. <laughs> 4 0. I've changed it. Um, uh, same here. Right. Um, right. Right, here we go. Inky says 2-2. Two, two. 5-13, two, two. Yeah, sitting on the fence, Inky. Sitting on the fence, mate. 5-13, 2-2. 5-13, 2 Malk also says 2-2. Two, two. Sitting on the there. fence. Sitting on the fence. Yeah, mate. He was sitting on Wally's um, horse. <laughs> uh, right. Malk, 6 9 two, two. Yeah. He climbed Wally's fence to get to him. <laughs> Straddled him. Uh, <laughs> right, who we got here? Robert says one all. 5 15 one all. Uh, on the fence. Yeah, no one. Uh, who was that? Robert. Yeah. Robert. 5 15 1 all. Lawrence is laughing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, uh, I'm going to give Wally a 2 1 win to uh, France. Yeah. So Wally is three eleven two one. Uh, it's me, you, and Stuart. Stuart. Yeah, me, you, and Stuart. Do you want to go? Yeah, I've got three one to France. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go four cards and nine corners. Four nine three one. Yeah. Three one. Uh. Uh, Mark says, do you two want my cowboy boot up your bloody ass? Uh, <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> yeah, now you for me, though. Yeah, yeah. And we, don't, we, we like Wally. We don't want to get Wally jealous. And so, yeah, we're just, no, thank you. Right. Stuart is also saying 3-1 France. 4-11, 3-1, Stuart. 4-11, France. Robert says you're going to give Wally one. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, France v Germany. France v Germany. Um, fucking hell. Um, yeah, three one's looking a bit tasty. It is. Yeah, I'm going three. I was going to say three nil, but I think Germany's score. I'm saying three one as well. Three one to France. Um, corners and cards. Oh, Sona is playing well as well. well I've yeah. seen him in this year. Really yeah, good. Yeah, uh, I do think that's cool. Um, I'm gonna say five cards, fourteen corners, and I said three one, three one. Right, we've got two more games to go, everybody. Yeah. So we're nearly finished. Right, so the next game, I'll give some context to this. It's Man City v Man United in the WSL. Um, I'll tell you the standings just so you can get because uh, I think Man City are potentially um, they're up there, but Man United ain't. One sec, WSL. Where is it, man? One sec, Man City. Women, women, women. Where the f is it? Man City, women. Right. So um, standing. Right. They are 11-22. Maybe six more games to go in the league. Man City are joint top with Chelsea on 40 points. And Man United are on 28 points, having played the same game. So Man City are a better side than Man United. but uh, And they are the home team in this. So, yeah, Man City v Man United in the WSL, the Women's Premier League or whatever it is. Yeah, that one. Um, right. So, Lawrence has said City... Three Man United two. So three two. Lawrence says, let me do Lawrence four eleven three two. Four eleven three two. Um Danny says two one to Man City. Four nine two one, Danny. Four nine 
two one, Danny. Um, Stuart says three one to Man City. Malk says three one City. Robert also says three one city. Six eleven three one Robert. Six eleven three one. Uh Wally Wally's gonna say two one city, any. Yeah. Or is, yeah. Right. Wally three eleven two one. Inky says four one city. Three twenty. Three, four, one. Um, so I'm gonna three, go. Yeah, two nil to Man City. Yeah, and uh, four cards and <laughs> nine corners. You don't think there'll be any handbags in this one with the cards? <laughs> any, any red cards? Some real handbags? <laughs> it could be a could be a red card, isn't it? I don't know how passionate they are. Um, right. Um, what am I going to say? Okay. I'm going to go 4-2 mm, Man City. Do I believe that? Maybe not, but yeah, whatever. 4-2, yeah. Um, um, cards. Could be a little bit feisty because Man United, if they do like... Put a spanner in the works, then city ones might be yeah, you understand because they're mm. basically trying to win the league. So I'm gonna say six cards. Six cards, Could be right? Not many corners. I'm gonna say seven corners, which is probably the lowest I've ever been on corners. And what did I say? Four mm. two. Four two, yeah. Boom. So the last game, everybody, is for our American brothers. New York Red Bulls versus Inter Miami. Inter Miami, obviously, Messi, Alaba, Busquets, Suarez. Uh, so, yeah, the Barcelona retirement home. Um, let me just see if there's any information in regards to... Because their league is just weird, man. Like, even when I look at the league, it's like you play teams from a different Western conference and all this. Yeah. Let me just check, you lot, if there's any context to this. Inter Miami. Um, fixtures, uh, right, standings into Miami are top of the Eastern Conference. Uh, they've played five, they've got 10 points, and Red Bulls have played four and they've got seven points. So, obviously, if they win their game in hand, they would go level. So, level head to head. Um, hold on, shit. oh, that's oh, the way they do it, right? Hold on a minute, New York. Yeah, they lost 3 0 their last game, and Inter Miami they won the last 3 1, whatever. Yeah, so they are you know, they're only three points apart, but Red Bulls do have a game in hand. Um, standings top goal scorers, right? So Luis Suarez is the current league top goal scorer, with four goals, and then Messi has got three. Uh, a camper, so there's no Red Bulls top right. Red Bulls top goal scorer has got two goals. He's a Scottish guy, L Morgan, and then they've got a Finnish guy called Robert Taylor who used to play for no one, but I know, yeah, Robert Taylor, the Finnish guy. So, yeah, um, Barcelona have got more goal scorers in their team than Red Bull. There we go, mm. yes. Well, I'll, uh, I'll jump straight in. Five cards, 13 corners, five, and one, one free. Five, Miami beat New York. Three, one. one free. Right, so Lawrence was the first one, I think, because, hold on a minute. Yes, he was. Because Inky done that for Man City game, the women. Right, cool. So it's Lawrence. Lawrence is saying... Uh, New York Red Bulls one into Miami four, four eleven one four Lawrence four eleven one four. Um, Danny says one four as well. Five twelve one four. Danny five twelve 
One four. Who's next? Malk says one three. Four, 11, one, three. Robert says three two. Six ten three two. Three two. Fuck's sake, wrong one. Robert. Six ten three two six. Three two. Uh, Stuart Inky, right. Um, well, what's who's Wally? Who's Wally gonna go two one with? He's going for Miami. Miami one two. You've done yours, Inky, me, and Stuart. Right, here we go. Inky says one three, so he's going Miami to win three one. Four twelve one three. Inky. <coughs> twelve. He's not confident, though. He says, once again, he ain't got a clue. Uh, it's <laughs> me and... None of us have, Mike. It's me and Stuart. Right, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go New York 2, into Miami... 3. 3, yeah, 3. 2-3. Three. Where am I? Right, cards mm. and corners. I'm going to go... Four cards and nine corners. Four, nine, two, three. And then it's just Stuart. And he said he also says two, three. So Stuart's saying two, three as well. Four, eleven, two, three. Four, eleven, two, three. Um, and that concludes this week's uh, predictions, which I'll be. Yeah, bit scatty because we don't know much about much for this one. Yeah, no, I'll just we can get lucky here because uh, sometimes that's better. Yeah, exactly. Especially there's not one team there. You know what kind of team they're going to play out. It could nah. be all youngsters. It could be look, having a look. It could be everything. Absolutely anything. So it might come good because last week between me and Lawrence, with the knowledge we have, we got zero. Mm. <laughs> Hopefully. Luck plays a part this week. I think yeah. I would suggest you and Lawrence take a trip to Brokeback Mountain, find yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's what we need. Your, gather your thoughts and your, your balls. I mean, the thoughts, and then uh, come back next week. But yeah, anyway, set, set me tent up in the garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that any final words? I know there's not any real football going on, but yeah, any final words before we end the stream? Uh, fuck talk sport and all the people on it. They talk shit and all them pundits. But no, not really, mate. We'll, uh, we we kick off. we got a full fixture list next weekend, have we? I'll take uh, it. I don't know because remember, England ain't even played yet and they should have. Um, yeah, they might play one during the week. Then. Let me just check. When the Premier League is back. Today's now the 23rd. Premier League. Fixtures. Um, 30th. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We will have. Yeah, um, that's where you get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, we got Newcastle away, haven't we? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, and that's the early game. That's the early 12.30 on Saturday. Yeah, so... Yeah, no, no, no Alvarez. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why? Why not? No Alvarez. He we got uh, this Ted Piella, didn't he? Whatever oh. he's uh, got and, a two match plan. And I I read briefly that Kudos is maybe injured. He got injured playing for Ghana. Mm, Ghana. That was on a West Ham website, but yeah, there was that. Yeah, uh, wait, that's conflicting. Like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't, he might. He has got a knock or something. I don't think he's playing for them. But like I say, he got to, what ten days, whatever. Uh, or is it next weekend? He well, it, it could be all right, but who knows? But no, we'll see, we'll right, see no. what team we put out. But, uh, yeah, it could be tough for everyone. Mm. Uh, Alvarez you, now, he's missing the Newcastle game, he's missing the Tottenham game, and he will be missing the Leverkusen game. Oh, shit. So, because he got 10 euros, he misses two games? Yeah. Oh, my Because it's his second time around. Yeah, yeah. So, he's going to be missing both of them games. And of course, the European one, he got 
you know, he's missing the Leverkusen as well, away. Which isn't good. So, the worst loan signing we've ever made has to come good. And we'll find out whether he will against Newcastle next weekend. Because I'd imagine Phillips will start. And if he starts, he's got to step up. That's what yeah, we brought him for, to cover Alvarez. That yeah, was his job. So we'll see. Hopefully it is. Maybe this is what he needs, mate. Right. We need you now, boy. And he just clicks into gear. There's, there's been no evidence of right. it. But happening. we can only hope. Uh, Lawrence says, thank you, mate. No, thank you. See you, Lawrence. Uh, Red Bull as a player, Winkleman Carmens. That's his name, Winkleman wow. Carmens. That's a cracking name, isn't it? Winkleman. Winkleman. Isn't it great to see Chelsea suffer? It is. It's wonderful. Absolutely. Yes, some. Um, right, so, um, yeah. Uh, much appreciated, everybody. As always, and we will be back next Friday, uh, and there will be a full fixture list. And we'll be back with this week's scores, which might be a bit all over the place. But yeah, uh, much appreciated. Yeah. And we will see you same time next week, Friday. So yeah, have a good week, everybody. And um, see you soon. Ciao. See you later. Bye bye. And what well on Malk. Yeah, what well on Malk. Wanker. Victory. <laughs> <laughs>